Hello everybody, we are back here for another fantasy episode. We're budging them up at the minute, um, just because we're trying to catch up from that month we had off. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the May, uh, end of May stuff in the next couple of days. And we're starting with my version of AEW's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. I am called the Booker of the Show, and I've got JJ and Glenn with me as always. Hello everybody. Hello everybody, we're back and loaded. And we're showing you for the first time since the draft. We've got Tom. Yeah, uh, well, um, somebody somebody had to smell smell the money in the air. Oh, Jesus. yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we have the real double or nothing just a couple of uh, weeks uh, days ago, I should say. Um, so we'll see whether uh, it was a bit of a weird pay per view, honestly. The real, the real one um, compared to AW's usual offerings. But no, if you want no to... exploding shoes tonight. I, I, think. Um, I no, that, like, the other books are in action, but no exploding shoes, unfortunately. We haven't modded the game that much. <laughs> No, no, no <laughs> also, I, I have, uh, for those who don't know, I have switched over to 2K23. The opening pyro you'll see here is from 2K22, obviously, because the opening pyro isn't in 23, but everything else from that point will be 23. Uh, the character models look a lot better, and there's some good stuff you can do in 23 that you can't do in 22, so it made sense to upgrade, as it were, as you'll see why. Um, all right, so, uh, with us, has everybody got the video ready to go? Indeed. Yep. I've got okay, mine in. Okay, we are going to press play in three. Two, one, go. Ooh, nice spinning the wheel there, Carl. Game time, baby. Y'all ready to ride for me like Yeah, like the real AEW, I didn't spend too much on an opening package. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really do opening packages. You need the budget. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're just like, boom, boom, boom. All right, here's the pay per view, and here's the first match. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> it's Wednesday, you know what that means. It's actually a good intro, as long as how you put the rest in the back. Oh, right. Oh, this is the stage. Nice. A bit limited with the wood stages when you're using the WWE game anyway. Mm. Every WWE arena looks the same these days. And we are looking at Las Vegas, Nevada. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Double or nothing. Here we go, the opening contest. For the AEW trio. Oh, this is gonna be wild. Oh, Ray Phoenix, wow. You're right, Carl. This is pretty good. Uh, big improvement. Starting out hot with the uh, the big Sorolano than the main event that's been going on. The uh, trios championship with the Casa del Morte taking on all the people that they have wronged over the last few months. For the I mean, trio the returning time, trios time. the last time we saw Ray Phoenix come to the ring without his brother. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, we are starting off phenomenally. The new TNT champion. Just recently regained it from Mil Mortez. Can he continue that momentum and potentially become a double champion? And his partner from Kings. We're about to find out. It's actually an impressive looking AJ oh, call. The blue and black combined. Style. In fact, that's best, best era AJ. No. Black AJ is best era AJ. And I thought he was going to come out wearing the black and silver, resembling Davy's New Japan look. Anything's better than his hood down, but his hood down over his eyes, um, looking like um, a My Chemical Romance fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as Carl said, uh, J, uh, AJ Styles is the first ever two-time TNT champion in this universe. Uh, hopefully this one will last a bit longer. AJ and Mil Mortez have been going at it since, since episode one here in AEW, and they look to end this rivalry here tonight. Yeah. It's all for nothing though, JJ, and speaking of which, <laughs> here's the man, the icon, the Batman of the famous WCW, now the Batman of AEW, Sting, and he's got his bass theme with him. Yeah. He's looking to seek and destroy here tonight. I love this song. The icon, Sting. Really enough, this video did not get flagged for Metallica. How? <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, it's the same. It's, speaking of which, I didn't get it. How much money do you have? <laughs> I, I, pay, I must have paid the uh, the rights. Surprised you didn't have the announcer say the man they call him the man they call thing. <laughs> yeah, not that was or, big or even or even the WCW thing of this is thing. <laughs> Funny because hey, it's Justin I'll... Roberts. He's getting used to it. You'll hear a di- couple of different versions of him here tonight. I think. Hey. He, I think. I think he uses. I think. Does he? Does he use this thing in regular WWE? I don't know. He might do. Hey, Carl. I use the exact same theme as well. We both use Metallica. You use it for Sting, and I use it for the Undertaker on my pilot show. Indeed. They were even. The Undertaker coming out to Metallica. This has got it. I gotta say, I really do like Sting's upgraded attire. He's got a bit of a slight improvement to his boot covers that are like grey silverish. From beyond the grave, the Here's the deadly trio. Oh, I don't think you're seeing any colours right now. All I'm seeing is black and white. We're not talking about the NWI. And Bill Mortez. <laughs> Certainly not. This is a much darker faction than we've seen in ever, and there's Katrina. Is it just me, or does it feel like everything's moving in slow motion? It is slightly. It is. There's the traitor Darby Allen who backstabbed everybody they're all, at the last They're pay-per-view. all traitors. Everybody on this team are traitors. And backstabbers, and liars, and cheats. Yeah. Both men have turned their backs on their longtime partners, even their very own brother, to join Mil Mortez in this trio. There's, there, 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 there's just something about Mil Mortez. Like, he he seems like he's too big for his body, if that makes any sense. Like, well. he's, like, like he's above a heavyweight in terms of size, but he's not a fat guy, if that <laughs> makes any sense. He's a powerhouse so, that can somehow springboard. Explain that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he, he's like bigger, than, bigger than a heavyweight, but not a super heavyweight, so he's sort of in that sweet spot. Whereas a lot of guys, when they get a push, when they get above heavyweight, they just become visceral. Oh Jesus! Uh, whereas he's in that sweet spot where he, where he seems too big. I to hope he didn't hear you say that. <laughs> Whoa! Th- well, that's actually a good-looking belt there, Carl, and nice oh, improvement. I, that that was sort of complimentary because, like, you know, he's the, one of the biggest people I've ever seen. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe. The trio's titles are on the line. But yeah, Trio isn't a giant at the same time. The, the first ever in the new AEW Trio Championships. Indeed. But uh, your trust has a back for this match, this huge match of the Casa de la Morte against all the men that they have wronged, that they have betrayed over the past three months. Do you say what, a to, what a way to start off with brother versus brother. I was Indeed. just about to say that. I was just about to say that. These, no, no, no. Of, of all of all six of all six men involved in this match, these two know each other the best. Indeed, if you have someone who's a brother who thinks the same as you, you might as well start off with the man you know who's like every chapter. Well, Sting's getting in there, and Penta is dealing with him. I mean, he's wearing the same colour as well, black and white. Well, he originated it. Well, St- Sting was able to set up a distraction. Phoenix looking to capitalise. Got to say. I gotta say, Phoenix's attire looks very nice. A nice, brighter attire than what we've well, seen. Well, you in have the to last. wonder, like, uh, it's almost kind of a symbolic that he's come here in pure white against the the black, the de- the house of the dead, the Casa de la Morte. Say, the, yeah, that is light, not that is the not the 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 thing you want to get out of. Yeah, Bill Ward has just thrown him back in. There are three sides of the ring. There are three sides of the ring you can safely get out of. That is the one you do not want to get out on. It was a Guy. revolution where uh, Darby wow. Allen was revealed to be turning on Sting. The whole thing of against Mil Mortis was a ruse. Cost themselves the tag team titles, then turned on Sting. And then just a couple of weeks ago, Penta turning on Ray Phoenix and costing him the TNT Championship. But then last week, all three men teamed up together to get to win the TNT title back for AJ Styles. It was. Payback was you know, at the last a, event. We all saw it. They got oh, a measure of revenge last week and they're looking for a little bit more whoa, of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Phoenix. What an amazing head scissors. Phoenix was, there, Phoenix there awesome telling his older brother, you may have taught you may have taught me every you may have taught me most of what I know, but I'm uh, I've still got a few things that you don't know. 
Indeed, and Penta is now in control of AJ Styles. He's he has been in control for the majority of this match. AJ coming back now as he is now the legal man. Phenomenal did one say day a few weeks ago that he was unleashed. That this was a a new Ooh. variation of him, so to speak. Well, that seems to be his reasoning for why he turned on his brother. I'm not sure about that. And oh my oh. God, there's the oh, tag to no Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Well, now AJ, AJ not backing down. AJ taking the fight to Mil Mortes. Not, 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 not only the tag, but I think that was a hot tag. It was a hot tag, and look at that. Whoa, is it me? Guys, is it me? It was me and Mortis moving a lot more quicker than we last saw him. And he's just yeah. busted open AJ! I think AJ's oh bleeding. Oh, well, well, I think he's angry. What oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's just fired up Mil AJ. Is, is very angry. He's a very angry monster tonight. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, exactly. Like... We saw how he destroyed AJ Styles even before Darby Allen became involved in that no disqualification match where he won the title. That was that was one of the most oh, brutal matches brutal. we've seen. And then the AJ coming back and winning the title thanks to Sting's and Ray coming into aid. Now of course, Penta and Darby. Darby. Allen. Here comes Darby Allen, the guy who we've always commented on when we say he's willing to put his body on the line, and now he's he's putting his body on the line for this freak, for this master, so to speak. Uh, Mil Mortez. Yeah, he says he wanted to get out of the shadow of Sting, but now he's in the shadow of Mil Mortez, some believe. Oh, springboard by DDT there from Phoenix. What Next a move, that could be it. Oh. But, oh, and you look at Sting in the corner, he's itching, he wants in there. He wants Darby out he so he badly. Can't wait. He cannot wait. Yeah, you saw how that, that it must have been 30 bat shots to Darby Allen on that last yeah. show. <laughs> he did, he was back shitting him crazy, no pun intended. I mean, look at the look on Sting's face. If looks could kill. Here comes Mel Mortez. Back oh, in the league of man. And Ray Phoenix taking it right to him. You have to believe he holds it personally that whatever Mel Mortez has said or done or promised to his brother that he turned on him. Yeah, nice face buster there by Mel Mortez. Change of Triple H there. And he makes the cover. But AJ's in there to break it up. Mill just ignores it, apparently. The referee doesn't. But... <laughs> AJ Styles trying to stomp on Mill Mortez, but Mill Mortez doesn't even register. Doesn't care. Look at this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, 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 over the top, oh. no. Ray saved AJ's life, I think. <laughs> AJ Styles uh, better buy a steak AJ. dinner for, for Phoenix tonight because mm. he just saved him. Oh, boy. Oh, here here we go. Here we go. And the crowd goes crazy well, you, for the icon. You want Dark Side and you want. Uh, you want to play mind games? Here comes Sting. Now, St Sting, Sting, a man with experience with taking on bigger, bigger opponents. He's oh, had, yes. um, he's, had, he's, had, he's had matches with some of the legendary big men of the big men of wrestling history over the years. Indeed. Yes, he has. He's taken it's on giants. He's taken on groups. He's taken on just about every name you can think of. He's guys, like big, guys like Big Van Vader going just as far as the late 80s. And you people dared question him when Darby and Mill were framing him that they were in an alliance. <laughs> hey, yes. I mean, I mean, look, that I can only good. judge what I'm seeing on my TV. Nah. Well, it turned out I'm to all be a, a mind games by Darby Allen just being an we absolute were, we, prick we to the man fooled. who made him you know, here in we, AEW. We were... We were all fooled, and, and for that, you're right. We yes, do we owe Sting an apology. Yeah, I, yeah, I owe Sting a lot more. I took it very personally, so I'm the one who's going to suck it up to him. And oh, look at this! Oh, Sting is sucking it. Things are broken Sting. down a bit here. Speaking of sucking it, um, this is named still an X-Factor on the concrete. Phoenix. Well, then, AJ, then, AJ, AJ Styles in control need some now. Look at AJ. He is enjoying oh. this now. He is. He's putting the boost to this Mexican freak. The man he has been feuding with since January. Indeed. He's, he's ready to move on. He's ready to put an end to this. And what better end than winning championship gold two times? Yeah, he'll be a, both the trios and TNT champion if he can win this match with the... St oh, the flat line. Oh. That's it. That's good. That You're could right. be it. No, Ray breaks it up. Crowd are pumped up for this, Carl. Just look at them. They really want to see oh, the faces of win. My God. Every time somebody comes to interfere, Mil Mortez just sends them out of the ring worse than they came in.
So far, I have to say, AJ's definitely been taking it to these guys. He's been there more than anybody else has. He's, he's yeah. been putting up a fight, but... Oh, I mean, look, wow. look at that. The numbers, the numbers game just just taking advantage. And this is... These guys are a well-oiled unit. Uh, the other team is, is, you know, great singles yeah. competitors, but it's three singles competitors versus a group you need to, you also, yeah. you also You also need to factor in that AJ has been, has been busted open has not had any treatment that I've seen on that cut, so he must be losing vision in at least one of his eyes at this point. Oh, yeah. Really he, he's been he's... brutalized. I mean, every time he gets in the ring with Will Mortez, he's oh, oh, brutalized. Here we go. Here we go. This is the go. showdown we've wanted to see. The so teacher tough, and the apprentice, brother. the master and the student. Ding has been one of the gates hands on Darby Allen. Finally, he gets it. The, the, the legend and the turncoat. Oh, that, oh. That, that stunner. That could be it. And he got it there. That was a two count. But he AJ broke Sting. Off. He turned on Sting. He dressed as Sting. Mocking him. Also, he could get out of his shadow, he says. And now he's in the shadow of Mill Mortar as well. Oh. oh, oh goodness. Sting might be uh, busted open bad here, too. He's got a bad cut yes, on his he head. Is. Yeah, we, 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 re we, re we really could do with one of the um, teams down to do some treatment on some of these cuts. We've got uh, two referees on hand tonight. We've got a, a referee uh, on standby in case this one goes down in every matchup. Look at that. Sting takes back into AJ. That's smart. Oh, cough, Chris. There we go. I know, I know Darby up. Allen is enjoying that, that. That Sting is bleeding by his hand. Cough, killer. This could be it. Oh, oh my God. God I AJ's been many guys with that move in the past. That that calf killer can do some serious damage to oh, him. Oh man, look at the viciousness of Darby Allen. Just like a, just like a rabid also, dog. Also, also, a, also a shrewd move for AJ to try and limit Darby's mo maneuverability by taking out his legs. Indeed, Jeez. indeed. Now a tag back smart. made to um, Phoenix. Ray, Ray Phoenix is here, and this this is going to be a matchup. The two smallest guys in the match. Yeah, 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 like Ray, Ray, Ray Phoenix showing some battle scars though. Oh, he's, he's, not as, he's, he's not as mobile as he was earlier in the match. Dude, I think, I think everybody's feeling well it. Rested. Sting is still on the outside struggling. Yeah, they're coming in now. I think seems to have broken down a bit. Whoa, oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, that what a move. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, Morse, but there we go. There's just too many men in this match. The referee needs to get these breakups yeah, under control. This is wild. Dink's finally back on the ape, and I think and he was This is what we, were, what we were kind of afraid of. We were afraid of this, right. you know, breaking down. Oh, oh there comes Phoenix! And, whoa! Oh! oh my god, he missed! Meanwhile, AJ is taking on Penta. Dink's crashed and burned, and it was all for nothing. They call it high risk, and we just saw the, the risks there. They did. The back sent on by Darby. Oh, don't see him do that very often. Well, the, from the top rope is his finishing maneuver. That's almost a mini version of it. Perhaps it's a setup for it, maybe. Gar Darby Allen, uh, absolutely relentless. Ooh. That's Ooh. been his game Back day one. Like a reverse long blower there, Carl, as well. And yeah, they got to get back in the ring here. And all of this yeah. is for the t all of this is for the trio tag team titles. This has definitely been a hellacious good match and to now, kick off this pay per view. And now the Lucha Brothers facing off once again. Oh man. You know Phoenix wants to get some retribution. Indeed. Phoenix is in no man's land was in no man's land there for a while though. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh he's going for the scorpion death hook. He's going for this it. This is it. it is. This is it. Smack dab in the middle of the ring. Penta. Gotta get out of it. This We're could be it. AJ AJ cuts in the this could be yeah, it. Will he tap? Penta is holding on. Oh, 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 wow. Damn. Penta held on a long time in that maneuver. Credit to him. He's there's got to be, there, there's there's got to be some. There's got to be some injury to the. Uh, there's got to be some injury to the legs and the back of Penta there. there there's something to be said. I mean, how far are these guys willing to go for their master, for their mm -hmm. leader, Mil Mortez? Well, we're about to find out. You know, the, like I said, Lamola, he may be mu mutilated by a mutilated, motivated uh, by a purpose. <laughs> um, well, they're going to do some mutilation, but yeah, they're uh, motivated by their purpose, their cause to be together in the, the house of death. But uh, these other guys are motivated by revenge for oh, being backstabbed by all these guys. 
Benj and Passion and Wayne the Goal is what's kicking off Team Sting, Sting for this match. Sting thought he had a pupil to, to carry his legacy on for the next 20 years. Ray Phoenix thought he had a brother. AJ oh, Styles yeah, has been that, we're not being down month after month. Yeah, a literal brother. We're not exaggerating. He's actual literal brother. Yeah, he's real flesh and blood. Meanwhile, AJ's got he's got him in. Look at this. And now, and now Phoenix, this is oh. smart. Take take out take out the guys on go. the apron and focus on the guy in the middle of the ring. It'll stop all these breakups, hopefully. Now Phoenix back at the top turn buckles. Here he goes. Phoenix oh. getting a you notice oh. he went right after Pentagon, getting a little bit of a measure of revenge there. Yeah, oh, but three yeah, count, but again, oh, I don't think we barely had any one count in this match thanks to these breakups. Darby Allen not even letting the referee get to the count. I don't think we have had a one count yet. Yeah, had a couple of two counts, but not a one count. Ugh. Yeah, they, they, it's been just no too much. Uh, I, too many I hope men the referee and... is getting a raise tonight or something. Just oh, flat line, too, right too much action to keep track of. See what I mean? It should have been a tornado tag match rather than a traditional tag match. Well, that, that would have been more chaos, but uh, the referee needs to, get, the referee needs to start uh, telling these guys to stop breaking up pins. I mean, what was the AW Booker thinking? Thing, thing, the thing is, they are perfect. They are, it is perfectly legal oh. to break up pinfalls. It is. It is. Oh. You oh. may not like it, but, but that's the rules. Elementary, really. Off. Another breakup. We need to, we need to do a scoreboard of how many breakups we've had in this match. Well, the more men, the more chances there are. Well, Sting just, Sting just saw Darby, and I think he just sees red when yeah. Darby's in the ring. We all know what rage can do to you. It can motivate it's, you, but it takes your emotions up, and it can take you out of the match if you're not careful. AJ, if you if if you want to go back and if you want to go back and if you want to go back and rewatch this match and do the breakup drinking game with Glenn, I, hope, wow. I wish you all the best <laughs> in your future. Well, this could be it. The stars clash. Clash! No, no. Oh! Holy cow! That was not. That was not oh, a break got, up. Penta kicked out. Styles class. Oh man! AJ Styles has won world class. championships with that move. Oh, and AJ's just pissed. Look at him. He was just raining those fists down. It's like, yeah. how dare you kick out of my finisher? Yeah, that, did, we've had a lot of breakups in this match. That was not a breakup. That was a kick out from Penta. I think yeah, AJ has done man. some damage to Penta's mask as well. There. That, yes. Yeah, that might have been the. That might have been the best chance that. Uh, that team AJ and Sting and, and Phoenix have had. Again, I might I might have to go back and rewatch this and do a scoreboard of how many breakups there, Tom. I might well have to. Oh, <laughs> just 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 don't take a shot every time. Uh, dude, I'm not a heavy drinker. Otherwise, I'll be on my Prosecco. Yeah, you, you, your kidney your kidneys won't survive. Trust me, I'm not. Darby Allen may not survive as Sting's got on him. Oh man, wearing out Darby Allen. <laughs> Get him, Sting! Get this Come on, Sting! Out. This ungrateful on. bastard! You tease this little son of a bitch what it's like when you betray a man After that you everything saw. that Sting did for him, for him to turn his back. Well, he apparently feels like Mil Mortez is going to get him Big further ass. in AEW. Just be glad he wasn't sent to the Further than play. Sting did for the past four years. Oh, That was, that a, was a bit... That, that was a little bit high there. I think if the referee yeah. was, being, was being a bit... Malicious there, he could have said something. Yeah, I just, you know, oh, there he oh, is, you know thing is, is laying in these shots, so to speak. Every well, the the and this could be it. Is he's got the scorpion? Scorpion oh, Deathlock the on Derby. Oh, couldn't think, get think in there. About, think about this of all the things that Sting has taught Darby. You got to think he probably taught him about the scorpion Deathlock at some point. Yeah, he, probably. He, he looked like he could hold the, it as well. He looked like Sting could the like train go. had to get in it, had to get out of it. Well, that's Bret Hart. Big He's kick. the master of the sharpshooter, not Sting. <coughs> oh, oh. that in the main event. Harvey Allen is uh, wrenching how, on the how, shoulder there, I think. Uh, how ironic it is, Cobb. We're starting off with Sting with the Scorpion Deathlock, and we're going to finish it with Bret Hart with the sharpshooter. Just a little bit weird. Harvey Allen Darby is now taking control. Kind of opened up Sting even more there. Let's look at the size difference. Ding is so... He's much bigger. He looks in his prime. And Darby's just kicking in. Oh, oh there, there we go. Death Darby and Death Drop. And that's, that's got to feel good for Ding. He breaks it up. What an opening well, contest. Here we go. And now 
no. Oh, no. What in the heck? No. Oh, damn it. That referee was knocked out. But you did call it earlier, Carl. Damn it. Yeah, we've got a second referee on hand, luckily. Oh, God. It's a female referee. Lady Riff. Hello, Lady Riff. This has just been out of That's hand. We had a Glenda. bad feeling something like that would happen. It's Glenda signed herself into the match to become the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing with you, Carl. Yeah. This match has been brutal. Back and forth. Referee's not down, but we still haven't got no champions crowned. Yeah, let's. We, we, we might not. Oh, wait. Pentagon, what's he going for here? Oh! oh face into the mat. I could easily break your nose right there, let alone break your eye sockets. Now another knob like suplex. Enter us and a really good show in this match, kicking out the stars clash. He has a, he has definitely been the, the MVP the of the team, I think. Got and a now cross across space on him. Been... Page of a third Canadian. Ooh. Ooh. Down. The ref's down, the ref's down. Hang on. Yeah, but, yeah, but she called for the bell. Did she? Really? She tapped out. What? Oh, wow. Hang on, we need to go back in time. What happened Yeah, there? we need to take one to the replay. I'm going to get it. Down. I, thought she, I thought she was not down and then AJ started tapping. Yeah, I thought the ref was down. I mean, she's called for the bell, clearly. But... What happened there? What this just happened there? That was a well, I said Pentagon was the MVP of his team and... He just he got just made it. Just tap out. Tap out. I can't believe I'm in shock. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either, guys. I I, I swear down AJ did not tap when the referee was not down. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see our original referee is better now. He's um, able to do yeah. the belt thing over. Yeah, he's, he's, he's recovered. He's, he must have seen it too. We need to get a replay, guys, honestly. What a, what a chaotic scene. I got a message from AEW management and it reads as follows. Oh. I have rethought this whole thing with no disqualifications for the world tag team title match saying is how chris jericho could just interfere oh. therefore there will be disqualifications and oh. count outs in this match and in the women's championship match however both matches have the following stipulation if the miz mjf or becky lynch get themselves disqualified they will lose their respective that's championship good, good, yeah. good that's what it also goes for chris jericho in the main event Wow, guys, it looks like the new owner is not messing around. Oh, he doesn't. Carl Absolutely Dunn doesn't. not. That's great. Carl Dunn does not mess around. This is what happened on the pre-show. All right, then. Oh, wow. Update a time for the Iconics. The match that was on the pre-show on YouTube before we came on the air. Oh, wow, even Rio had an updated attire. Britt, you know she wants a measure of revenge on the Iconics after uh, they've been booking the her for weeks now. Oh. There goes Rio. Yep, oh, oh, oh big six foot nine. Curb stomp by yeah, Britt. Oh, stomp. A big, oh my goodness, this is just wild all over the place. And now the lockjaw. And that's it, I think. And is that's it. Is yeah. that going to be it? That's it. That's over. Rio and Britt Breaker get the victory on the pre-show. And look at that, Rio loves it too. It's the typical with the Japanese women, they always go into overdrive. Great win for uh, Britt Baker, and you gotta think she's up next for a title shot. Well, speaking of, here we go. The undefeated. Jade Cargill. Oh, and there's MVP. Oh, wow, Jade got this, some pyro, did she? Nice. This woman has been on a roll. Uh, she's only gotten stronger with MVP in her corner. I mean, she beat she's Awesome been Kong. She's undefeated. Yeah. Undefeated, beat Awesome Kong last month. Yes, she beat uh, seven other women in a, in a battle royal the month before that. She has been... Perfect here. 
perfect in AEW, perfect in the old got, AEW. She's got, a few fan, she's got a few fans in the audience. I just heard one man go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, nice. I think a lot of people, you know, <laughs> I don't know if they're rooting oh. for Jade, but they're, they're rooting against uh, this woman here. Oh, Jade has been earning a lot of respect lately. You know, she's a badass woman, but she's not like this girl right here. You know. I mean, and here's Becky Lynch, who instead of earning the fans' respect, instead of uh, being the man, uh, she turned her back on the fans. And she's joined up. Well, with they were booing, they've been booing her ever since she turned up in AEW. Becky Lynch has had enough of it. She's her own woman now. She's the champion and she has been very fitting. But she did make some good points though. I mean, we were cheering her up the these, entire these time. These they good, uh, hard-earned money and they can cheer and boo whoever they feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Becky, very oil. reminiscent of the Joshi wrestlers of the um, late 80s, early 90s. Indeed. Uh, and now she has thrown her hat in with The Miz, MJF and Chris Jericho with the Sports Entertainment Society. She obviously feels like she was better off in WWE. Now, oh, it's a shame I didn't get her from my roster because I did have high intentions of hiring Becky Lynch, but I couldn't. From Tampa, Florida, the I, mean, Fina, Jane Carr. Get out! I like the fact Jay's got like green hair for the occasion. She looks quite colourful with this. It suits her. Belt looks absolutely enormous. <laughs> it is enormous. It does. It looks a lot better than the original. Now, not since Goldberg, and I know that's an unpopular name around these parts, has somebody been undefeated and won a world championship. Can Jade Cargill become the second person to ever do that? Oh, well, history has a funny way of repeating itself, JJ, and I think in the women's division, this will be a first. Just don't tell Bret Hart I said that. Mm. Don't worry, Goldberg's not even in AEW, so it's okay to mention him. And speaking yeah. of which, we're going with a power a, move. This, that's exactly what she's going to want to do. Use that power, use that strength. Becky has been uh, disrespected uh, disrespected by the fans, but now she is, like I say, she has joined in with the Sports Entertainment Society. Feels that she is too big for AEW. She is big time, Bex. And we heard all about that last month. She's saying she's bigger than AEW. She's not like Hulk Hogan. Her name's like bigger than the Sports Entertainment Society. Well, she she thinks that she's bigger she, than AEW. She, this this group thinks that uh, that they're big time. They're bigger than AEW. I mean, I'm looking at this crowd. It's it's a packed arena tonight. It is. Um, I mean, this is not some this is not some bingo hall. This is not uh, <laughs> you know, some sound stage. I mean, yeah. How many? How many have we got in the attendance tonight, uh, Carl? Did you uh, count how many? I, there I are? haven't. Uh, I haven't counted it up exactly, but it's got to be. Got to be. ten thousand strong here in the MGM yeah, Grand. 11, 12, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, Jay falls over the top Jay to the floor. Sent over the ropes. Look at her and look at Becky. She's just walking yeah, it. Becky may have wanted to capitalize there, but instead she's showboating. Don't know about you, but is it me or wish Jade slimmed down a little bit? She's oh, been training away. hard for this match. This is the match that she earned the rights for at Revolution. She's been getting she's been... Into, into peak condition. If this is the biggest match of her career, I think. Yeah, she, she tried been... to cash in. She, you know, she's a good example. Miss and MJF. You know, keep saying about how I stripped MJF of the world title. The J got stripped of the TBS title, but she did something about it. She earned her way through the ranks and got a shot at the women's world title. She absolutely did. Yeah, she did. Oh Ooh. Look at that, Brit Breaker! Oh Whoa. wow, what a counter! I mean, Becky Lynch, sorry, that was a really good counter. Indeed, and that was again, neat. Say what you feel about Becky and her attitude, but she easily has the most experience in this match. Indeed, just I mean, her hair, her attire, everything about her has altered. So she's now big time Bex. Oh, and a kick to the outside. Oh my goodness, what that a good. kick. It just sent Jade to the outside of the room. He's just... I mean, and, Becky I mean, Lynch is proving to Jade she can hang with her. Whoa. Jade's previous uh, opponents. I don't think she's had a fight. Like oh, the one Becky's going to give her a fight. I say, Jade, 
Jade handed it to Awesome Kong in that fantastic match between those two. She really took it and defeated Awesome Kong in that amazing match. She has uh, she has all the momentum going right into the guardrail. I heard that. That was an absolute brutal kick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my concrete. God. Oh, my God, on the floor. Whoa. Jeez. But Jay just gets now, straight back up. Oh, my gosh. This oh. Match, well, oh. we thought the next man was wild. This match has broken down. <laughs> Look at Jay. She no-sold that concrete. And now she is just saying to Becky, come get some. Yes, indeed. Unlike John Cena, you that, want that some, rush come and get some. That may, have, may bite Becky in the backside, but... Did. This has been physical, guys. I'm telling you, Jade wants that title so badly she can taste it right now. That green hair, maybe she's uh, tapping into some She-Hulk here tonight. <laughs> and of course, her attire with gold. So maybe she thinks she's going to walk out as the champion. Could that be a well, prelude? And if uh, MVP has his way, that'll be happening. I know uh, Jade and MVP would never admit it, but she yeah. is representing the AW Originals here. Yeah, absolutely. she is. Oh, two can only. Eight, eight is AEW homegrown through and through. Indeed. Oh, no, whoa. This whoa, could be whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's well, it. Well, she made it back home with one last arm. Oh, oh she, she gets out of it. it. Jade. Some may argue it's the two strength of Jade. Indeed. Just shoved her off with that, and look at that left arm clothesline. The challenger's got the champion on the ropes. And notice she hit that clothesline with the arm that was in the disarmor, almost as if to say that didn't hurt. Oh, indeed. I believe Jade's one of those fighters who just, you know, she feels it the next morning, but in the moment, in the the adrenaline. Yeah. She does not feel are... the pain. She's no Brock Lesnar, let me tell you. She'll bring the pain to the champion like she's trying to do here. This crowd are solidly behind Jay Cargill. Listen to this crowd. Wow. They're behind their original. This, this crowd can feel it. They can feel. Oh, whoa, whoa. Guys, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? They can feel the momentum changing. They can feel that a title change might be near. Oh. What in the world? Come on. No. The referee is removing that chair, which is a good idea. The referee and all of us were was distracted by that music. It didn't work yeah, though because Jason that was, uh, was continuing it. That was Judas, that was Chris Jericho's theme. What is What is what going on now? Jay is, is continuing on like nothing's happened. And she's going for the big swing. Oh, oh. Well, she got distracted from the pinfall from that uh, that I mean, we big uh, back uh, front face drop drop. We, we, did, we, call did, it. Not, we did not expect uh, that. Well, yeah. She could have got the win there off that big slam, but unfortunately got distracted, but she is not letting up now. Oh, she's on and the top yeah. rope. Oh, no. Jay. Let's point out, I don't think it's a coincidence oh. that that was Chris Jericho's music. Well... He is the, the person who Becky Lynch threw a hat in with last month. Oh, Jade, what an amazing move off the top, and now, now she's going to punish Becky Lynch for that. Yes. Yeah. Becky taps when it's on the ring, but nothing can happen now. Yeah, you can't win the title out there. It's not that's a smart the, move, Jade. That's, oh, I mean, God. let's be honest, guys. That's that the call. second time that Jade Cardgill's had oh. Becky Lynch beat tonight. Becky Lynch just went Thank right in that guardrail, and she hit it hard. Yeah, and she breaks the count there. She cannot win the... Becky Lynch loses the title on a disqualification, as we just heard before this match. Both Becky Lynch and Miz and MJF have been warned if, because of Miz and MJF getting themselves disqualified in the title match last month to try and cheat out of it. If they get themselves disqualified in this match, they will lose the title. But Jay Cargill could not win the title on a countout. Oh, no, you can't. Can on a DQ, but not on a countout. MVP telling Jade him make it, he's I think that's the bit of that. Jade's leaving her out. Jade's just breaking the count there. Jade she seems to know that. She's oh, oh my god. Jesus. Oh, Becky's neck. 
Jade basking in Jade's the moment. Smart there. enough to know that she needs to keep breaking the count if she's going to keep doing what she's doing. This match has definitely been 85% Jade Cargill. Yep, she's been taking you to the champion car. Yep, she wants that belt. But as we've learned many times over the years, you only you only need three seconds of dominance to win a match. Indeed. It can be, be it can be it can be ninety seven percent your opponent, but if you have those those final three seconds, you my friend are the winner. Becky is Becky, Becky Lynch is crafty, Becky Lynch uh, so Becky's looking for the counter, you know. I think Becky's thinking of getting counted out here. Yeah, she's resting, that's for sure. She's trying to stay away from Jade. I thought she might well, have I just think, been out of it. Beyond. I think she was she was looking for the count out. I thought she was absolutely on, you know, Dream Street. She was bobbling all over the place. Uh, she was being smart. She was taking her rest outside. Oh, oh my goodness. What, what the hell? Wow. wow. Unique offense there. I mean, if I was in a if I was in a position, if I was in a position position, I'd be thinking of um, getting counted out. That's true. She does it's lose a title on disqualification. It is a loop oh, the, um, the new owner said. Yeah, it is true. That is absolutely true. She does not lose the title on a counter. He counted it on a DQ though. There's a cover one. Oh. Jade can't believe it. Jade Jargo's gonna be, try to make sure that it doesn't come to that. All she's got all Becky's gonna do though is walk away. Yeah, but then yeah. she's gonna bring Dishonor to the championship. And, and look at this. Oh, no. oh, oh, wow. That's gotta be it. Is that gonna be enough? One. Two, three. Damn. Damn. Becky Lynch won. Some some thread of competitive of competitive spirit left in Becky there. Wanted the win there. Well, you can't brag about being the best without proving it occasionally. Well, Tom, you said so it only took three seconds, and that's all it took. Jade Jade Cargill dominated most of that matchup, but Becky Lynch able to stay in it, hit the manhandle slam, and. Three seconds is all she needed. Yeah, all you need, all you need is three seconds of dominance, and you win. Well, she won cleanly, though, guys. We cannot argue I think with that's that. That's not all Becky had. Becky, Becky had her work cut out for her tonight. Yeah, yeah there was that in. moment with the that was that moment with that music. But other than that, she did, she did do it clean. Yeah, other than yeah. the interference. I, the I, uh, we are very uh, different. That, that I think that 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 music that, that music could have been could have been an error on the part of the team in the truck. I mean, have you have, have, have you oh seen God. the interns that got working in the truck tonight? My God. God. We've seen one new championship start rechristened tonight. We've seen the title of the trio star bike. Now, now I'll tell you this one, Bob. Oh boy, this is one of the big ones, guys. We had a first ever champion in our first match tonight. Time for another first ever champion. There's the rules telling us 10 men in, 10 men, two men will start, and then 30 seconds a new entrance comes in. The last two men remaining will then have a one fall singles match with the All right. being the AEW Sounds just about right. Champion. This will be intriguing guys. Whoever wins it will deserve it. Here we go with one of the first oh, wow. tank combatants. Who is it gonna be? Oh Matt Jackson. Jackson. From Rancho, Cucamonga, California. I, the you know, <laughs> I said it earlier with Phoenix, but I'll say it here with, with Matt. When's the last time you saw one of the Young Bucks without the other one? No, it's been a long time since that happened. Indeed. Young Bucks are always together. You know, they're like brothers you know, in the end. You know, they're in, both of them are invested in uh, in the matchup later tonight with Kenny Omega and Adam Cole. But for right now, they have a chance to win gold. Maybe one of yeah. them becomes the leader of the elite. Yeah, that maybe. Work. That might work, actually, judging by what we're seeing here. Well, like I say, it's going to be a 10-man lottery-style battle royal. The last two men remaining will then have a one-fall singles match with the winner being the returning international champion. It's going to be number two. I know what I'd like to see. Oh, it's one of the members of... Uh, uh, Jurassic Express. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Big man, oh. Luke. Oh, oh man, man. Good, good luck, uh, two, good luck, Matt. Now, I need to be honest with you guys. Would you consider Luchasaurus a fan favorite? Absolutely. 
Oh yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd also say Lucha, Lucha Force is your favourite in this match. Biggest man in the match. Well, yeah, I'd say so. We think. At least so far, we, we don't know all the competitors just yet, but it's going to be hard to find someone bigger than Luchasaurus. Well, i got to say, he's actually improved his attire since we last saw him. A little bit darker, but he's still got the green in him. I mean, I mean you're, you're, you've, got, I you've, got a, you've, got, you've got a bit of a... You've got a bit of a point there. I mean, you were saying he's a fan favourite, but he appears to be shouting at children here. Well, he's a dinosaur. Oh, well, maybe he's I maybe those are his fans. Out. Those are his mini Luchasaurus fans he's chewing to, Tom. He was doing the role. Has anyone ever actually had a conversation with him? Not named Jungle Boy? Does he even speak English or whatever? Jesus. He speaks dinosaur. <laughs> Well, I mean, we I, I normally just throw steak through his locker room window. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, the first two men in this 10 man lottery style casino battle royal. The last two men remaining will have a 1 4 singles match. The winner will that's be the internet returning. That's not a bean performance. Somebody had to beat you. <laughs> Oh, I gotta say, this is bad luck for, oh, for Max Jackson here. Not five, only is he number one, four, but he has three, to fend off Luchasaurus. Who's it gonna be? Who's next? Oh, it's Cash, it's Cash Wheeler. Wheeler. Oh, Cash Wheeler. Okay, this could be a breakout for a lot of guys that you consider quote unquote tag team wrestlers. This could be a breakout for their singles. Indeed. Indeed. This is exactly yeah. what the international championship is for, though. And here we go. Indeed. One member of FTR no is here. better in. way to. A breakout on your own than this championship gold. Mm -hmm. hang, on a, hang on a minute, guys. Look at uh, Chris Hanworth from FTR. He's got like a bit of an NWO coloring on his tights there. What's all that about? They're a tribute to Scott Hall. And, and homage to. Yeah, they, they are a tribute yeah. to Scott Hall. Bruce and Liger, number four next. Yeah. I mean, this is the guy to win it. Always oh, come in black and gold. Dark Liger. Yeah. Indeed. Listen to the crowd, they're going guys, crazy! Guys, where are you? I, I buffered for like a split second. Um, Liger's just uh, come in. I'm 422 now. 4523 on my end. 4525. Okay, let me know when you're at 31. Oh God, God the, the guys are coming thick and fast! Here we go, we've got another one. Three, okay. two, Three, two one. one. The fire is Brian Danielson, what? Wow. Oh. Dragon. Oh, and there goes... Oh, William is gone! Tiger's eliminated... Cash William is gone! This... In. This could be the favourite of the match. Indeed. Uh, my, 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 money's still, my money's still on the dinosaur. And he's, uh, well, it was Luchasaurus, but now I'm stuck with Ligo and Brian. All the other guys are coming in early. Who's next to join the party? Five, four, Harmony's oh, still three, on the dinosaur. Two, you better get him out of the top rope, remember? Oh, it's Jungle Boy, number six. Welcome back up. Am I, am I, am I about to here. immediately beat? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm immediately oh, wrong. Yes, immediately wrong. <laughs> right, so, um, who, 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 who do, right, so guys, who don't we like? Because I'll, I'll heavily support them and they'll be out next. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luchasaurus <laughs> almost had some backup. And then <laughs> his, his tag partner was coming in, he was eliminated. That may have been the worst luck of the night. Who don't we like? Um, Matt Jackson is going to win. That was bad timing right there. That was just terrible. Oh, Okada! Oh, oh my god! Rittenmaker, he's here. Okay, no, guys. Okada and Liger, this. yes please. Okada and Brian Davidson are about to be in the same ring at the same oh time. Oh my god, a dream well, match of a lifetime. There they go. Can everybody else just leave the ring and let them get on with it, please? <laughs> please, please let these two be the final two. Please. Just eliminate them yourself, yeah, never, everybody. Never, never oh, the final thing. two, they get to have a match, yeah? A proper match. Oh, no. There you go. Jackson's gone. Note to the oh, booking. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Brian, how could you? Oh, no. Now we won't get that dream match. Carter was one of the favourites going to this match. It was many people's predictions based on his yeah, to going to this match. Boy, I think I, think I did match. predict him. Now, it's fair to say, I think Brian and Liger are going to be the two favourites. At this moment, yeah. 
so uh, far, Nick Jackson like is the freshest man in the match. I mean, I mean, I'm, I might, I might as well stick to the, I might as well stick to the gimmick at this point. Jungle Boy is going to win. Well, <laughs> he's doing pretty well so far. Oh well, oh, maybe oh, not. Oh no, he's going over. Oh, Whoa, he going? Win. Oh, he's in still. Oh, they made me wrong for two. Tiger so far has eliminated two guys, so he's eliminated more than anybody in this match. So he must two be the heavy two people have, And two people have had the kiss of death from me, apparently. Mm, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it, fig it figures that Dax from FTR is going right after Nick from the Young Bucks. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but uh, who is Nick? the last entrant? Final entrant this one. Who is, who is the Joker? And it's Pac! Formerly known as Pac the Man that Gravity forgot. Oh, oh, straight to the super kick oh, Pac That super kick didn't forget about Pac. Oh, it no. didn't. It was a one-man super kick party. Now we've got all the final guys in. Who will be the final two to be crowned the champion? Now, Brian, is he going to skin the cat? No, he doesn't. Ooh. And he's got to hang on here. Lighter, oh, oh, that's oh, a match I'd like to see. I really need this punch to keep my mouth shut because may eliminate people by accident. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about these kind of matches, you never know. Then again, like. then again, Liger and Brian did fight off in Ring of Honor a long time ago, so they're no strangers to each other. Now Liger's got Brian, he's trying to get him on the top. Meanwhile, oh my goodness, got, what a sequence. Oh, Dax has got Nick Jackson in the other corner. There's He's Jungle Boy and Pack. Oh, like a kick. Like will kick on Brian. And, and Brian. Oh. Shoot right back with some kicks. That was a dragon this, German plex. At this, at this point, Jungle Boy has been in the longest. Mm. That, hey, that, has, that's no, wait, a great point. And Liger, I think, was Liger. number four. Liger He's and been Brian the Iron been Man the of this uh, battle royal here. Tiger and Brian came at numbers four to five, so they they're the Iron Man match of this match. As much as it can be a ten man, anyway. Ooh. Indeed. I mean, any of these guys would make an honourable champion. Let's be honest. Oh, absolutely. As Carl said, these guys could be the breakout of a singles career as well. Just think about that. Indeed. What you said, JJ. A lot of tag team competitors in this match. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, like a like a oh my oh, goodness, he just kicked up! Brian's Brian's gone, no. Like a bomb! Like a bomb! Pack. Yes. Pack might be done. Jungle Boy might be done. Dax might be done. Brian might be oh, done. Brian <laughs> might be done. <laughs> and Pack is there goes Pack. Pack. Pack has been eliminated. Pack uh, is uh, done. Uh, Pack. Uh, like a like a don't. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Don't get on the ropes in a battle royal. That is really bad idea. <laughs> that was not good. I got took his eye off the ball. Go voting is never good. For it. A bad move from the veteran. I know he's trying to get the crowd behind him, but look at that. Liger went under the ball. Are they have battle royals in Japan? Don't think so. Um, good point. <laughs> I don't think they have throwing over the top rope at all in Japan, do they? No. Just ask, just no, ask I, I can't see. I've never seen one. I'm that's sure like, that's that's a disqualification, um, isn't it? In um, Japan. Anyone who the joint had one. Ask him. He knows more about battle rolls than we do. Well, you can. He works for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk to him. That's tampering. Well, yeah. Under the giant, who's got the world title shot against the Undertaker. See, yes. Yeah, Big a weeks time. Urana, from Jungle Boy. It, Perhaps, perhaps Andre is here as, as a secret guest watching this match because he was the... Uh, um, there is no way Andre could be a secret guest to anything. Thank <laughs> you, Andre, in any way. Oh, you know what I, I don't mean. think he they make hoods big enough to fit it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyways, getting back on the subject, it's probably got the 4-4 four -four there, guys, but that happens a Indeed. lot. It's just for fun. Liger stuck under. Jungle Boy's got to be the got to be the uh, the underdog, I think, in this match. Nick right? Jackson is going crazy Nick. with them super kicks, as you'd imagine. His tag team partner was gone, so he's a basically a one man super kick party guy in there. Mm -hmm. Brian is stuck on the top rope here. He's kicking his legs out. He wants that title. Oh oh no! Ooh. Jackson stays in it. Get in the cat. Dax 
Ross with a uh, sit out Liger bomb of his own there. Indeed. The oh, minute. this could be it. Could do, no. Oh, no, no, no. Impressed by how these men have all held on. Determined oh, to motivate. Some since we've had elimination. Oh, Liger, Liger, Liger! Oh, oh it went down. Wow. Oh, Axe is gone. Wow. Axe is out. We're Liger down to a final four. Survived that, uh, I thought Liger was gone. Yeah, that super kick up the corner, yeah. I thought he was out there for a second. That would have been an upset. The drop kick by Brian onto Liger. Once again, Liger retreats the ropes. Those veteran instincts. Think about this. For as long as this battle royal has gone, the winners still have oh, to do a regular match. Oh, oh my god, what an oh, upset! Wow. Oh no! The double team of Jungle Boy and Nick, Matt ja or Nick Jackson, I should say. I can't believe it! Brian Dow, I thought he was going to stay in there, but Liger kicks up! Well, oh Nick, my Nick Jackson not popular with the crowd now. Hang on a second, is it me or is Jungle Boy being busted open? I think he's bleeding at the start of his left eye there. What it's happened? Now, it's like his eye is swollen. He is! Well, Jungle Boy says he's going to Jungle Boy it. pull off? Can Jungle Boy pull off an upset? That is tag team partner. I, I, ha I had my I had oh. my final two down as Brian and Liger, so expect Liger to be eliminated. I, I, did, I did too. I thought Brian was making it to the end. Uh, oh, oh my God. Jackson! That just Liger. busted a lot of brackets. Here's your final two. Oh, and now the belt's on officially on the line. Either Liger or Jungle Boy are going to win it. Oh, Congratulations, you survived the battle royal, but now you got to do a one-on-one -on -one match for this brand new international championship. Advantage, advantage Liger, I think, because he's been in he he's been in there less time. No, no, actually, he's been since number four. How much is left in the tank? Oh, oh Canadian, Canadian destroyer! A Canadian destroyer. When did Perry come in? Wow. Jungle Boy wants that. Title. Think about the experience, Jungle Boy relatively new to the pro wrestling business. Jushin Liger been wrestling for over 30 years. Much more longer than The Undertaker, let me tell you that much, but he's he's way right ahead of him. Again, Liger with a showboat, maybe not a good idea. Liger cut with the showboat and you're not Shawn Michaels. He's just busted open Pat, uh, and Jungle Boy. Jushin now Liger has, has made it no secret how frustrated he's been. Uh, the tag team with Okada did not go as planned. Uh, yeah, Okada got that victory match. over him. Yeah, yeah he even lost the singles match to Okada, but he could come out as the uh, the the winner in this scenario, the the grand champion, so to speak. Oh, oh no, the bear oh. trap! Jungle Boy's got an STF on him. That's just the, that that's, could be that's it. The bear, that's the bear trap. The rope. That is like that is uh, Jungle Boy's finishing maneuver. The bear trap. He's got out of it. Yeah, Liger got out of it though. Even though I still call it the uh, STF, you know, out of respect of Samoa Joe, but damn, that was a good near uh, submission. Yeah, Liger, Liger able to fight out of it. Oh, the crowd is on their feet. They can send something special here, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, this, but... This is this Jungle is Boy's chance. Point. Everybody that says he's the future of the business, this is his chance to prove that. Indeed. Oh, it's my this God, one. what a knee! No, oh. oh, that was almost it for Jack Perry, but he did not manage to get it. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but is this the first time that Jungle Boy and Liger have ever crossed paths with each other? It, I, would, I would think so, yeah. Jack Perry is uh, only in his early 20s. That Liger has uh, been a veteran. How I want Oh, I like because I'm older than Jungle Boy. But I think, I think, like, I think, I think, I think Liger's Liger. been wrestling longer than Jungle Boy's been alive. Big Liger, Liger bomb, but Jungle Boy Liger, able to Liger, get the Liger has literally wrestled on every continent on the planet. Liger, oh, and, Jesus! Oh my God, to the floor! Diving, Chris Bill Moore dive in the heavens! Jesus, Liger! He is putting his body on the line for this title! That's how much, that's how much this means to even a even a 30-year veteran like Jushin. Liger, he wants to be champion oh once again. Oh my goodness, Liger, throwing caution gonna, to the wind. I thought that was it with a running Liger bomb, but unfortunately he threw him into the ropes. Liger, oh. is, Liger is wrestling on the, on, on the British scene in the late 80s, he's through the Liger, did not he? He has. That's Liger's how long this, this man has been wrestling in this country. We go slice spread, oh wait a minute. Yeah. 
Oh, he was on the he was on the undercard with Big Daddy of a Big Daddy and Johnny Hayes that tonight. Wow, yes, he was indeed, and now he's got the STF button again. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a bunch of names on that card. Jungle Boy with the snare trap, but Liger, he's seen that before. He's able to fight out of it. He knows that move too well, man. What a, Liger with what a, a match with his oh, bed. Overshot yes, him there with Jungle that Boy able to get out of the way. Let's go for it. Oh, he's going to whip and tear those legs out of Liger. I don't think he won a match in England, you know. <laughs> Long Fuji Yamada, who was known as in those days. Maybe he's good. He could definitely win a match here. Maybe it was a good job I didn't get Liger from my roster in England due to his bad luck streak then, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> if if you if you had got if you had got Liger and booked him as flying Fuji Yamada, I think Carl would have killed you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have it. No, I think, you, I, think he did, I think he did have Liger on point. I trained him for Undertaker. He did. I was going to keep him, but no, I got Undertaker instead, so you could keep him. Who knows? Oh well, Who knows? wow, this. Could a figure four? To have oh, Liger oh. and not use Liger gimmick. Uh, that's basically what, are, what, what a inverted uh, death lock here. Almost like one of CM Punk's moves there you used. T taking out the, the legs of Jungle Boy. <laughs> Big elbow. Liger getting the crowd. This time he's going to do it. No! Oh, wow. Well, if I had been, uh, wow. been the yeah. Battle Royal, that would have been it. Liger took a bad spill. He landed on his legs there. And Jungle Boy with a shooting oh. star! Oh my god, what a move! <laughs> springboard <laughs> shooting star to Tom the outside. Right a there, springboard man. standing shooting star to the floor, holy cow. I want to go all the way in, guys. <laughs> the legacy of Jushin Liger versus the future of oh. Jungle Boy. Which one is going to win in this clash? And they're laying it all out on the line. We know this they is... want to make history, man. Jack Perry has been called a pillar of AEW in the past, and he is proving it. Why now? It's a young lion against the uh, old lion. That's what it is. If he wins it, this will be Jungle Boy's breakout of the year of 2023. Oh, oh. The shooting star by Liger. That's the movie you invented. This is it. Oh, oh. That's got to be oh. it. But it isn't. Oh. How, so how, did, how did Jungle Boy kick out of that? How does he still know. have anything left? The Liger bomb, there we go, that's it. Oh my goodness, oh. One, two, Jungle Boy. Two, yes, Liger Liger. Did it. Jungle Boy Liger put up a great Liger. fight, but it just wasn't enough. What Damn. a performance. Wow. What a performance from Jack Perry. But, but he fell down to the veteran, a, Jushin Liger, the new champion. What a star-making performance. I, Nobody gave Jungle Boy a shot in this battle royal, and he came within inches of becoming champion. Yeah, and he, he, did kicked out, he kicked out of Liger's shooting star press, the movie invented. Doesn't make a nice difference, though, because Carl Christian Liger, my number one Japanese wrestler, has reclaimed the goal and made history. This be the beginning of a new chapter for Jushin Liger in AEW. You, you want to talk about international it. champion? There's... Maybe no better international wrestler than Juice and Thunder Liger. Here we go, the tag team tiles, man. This will be something. Indeed. Miz and MJF got themselves disqualified last month to get out of the match. Now if they get themselves disqualified in this match, they will lose the tag team tiles. Oh, we've seen a new champion crown. We've seen two champions have not changed hands, but could we see the tag tiles change hands in this upcoming match? And the most of the guns they may or they just upgrade themselves Chris Sabre's had a new head cut there yeah, for sure yes this, this is the team that that almost every team in AEW and almost every wrestler in AEW has been inspired by in some way shape or form indeed most of the machine guns originated in TNA they had a good run there and now here they are in AEW making a name for themselves and they could hold the titles man I'm telling you these guys are one of the hottest tag teams in the business just like Shawn Michaels and my Janelli were back in the 80s as the Rockers now that was a big uh, comparison there guys but I just had to throw that one out there well here come the bricks guys I'm glad I did not sign my machine guns that faced a lot of good teams in their day and I've had a lot of great matches but I don't think they've ever faced uh, two bricks as we like to call them 
these two sons the of the level bitches, of Miz and MJF. Speaker of the Rockers, my Janae is wearing the exact same colors as they were wearing. That's disgusting. And here comes the A Hall of Wrestling, period. MJF. I mean, despite the fact that these two guys work so well together, these two guys try to hold cop for money. And who you gave know, them pyro? Who allowed yeah. that? How did we? Why did we allow that? I'll be honest. It was probably in the contract. <laughs> the amount of money they've demanded from me from since winning those tag team titles. You didn't. Sure. You didn't demand it there, Carl. You didn't pay them for the pyro. They must have done it themselves. Well, These guys have been insufferable since day one. They've been even more insufferable since winning the tag team championships, and they've somehow been even more insufferable since joining Chris Jericho in the SES. Indeed. These guys, they may be good as a tag team, JJ, but they make me sick to my guts. They don't even deserve to be the champions. They deserve not, not, nothing. Not at all. They don't deserve the money. They don't deserve to be in the business. They deserve to be, you know, behind bars, you know, in my opinion. Well, they helped me up for money for tag titles. I made them turn up to defend the titles. They got themselves disqualified, and now if they do that in this match, they will lose the titles, and we'll, we'll see what they do and how they try and sue me if they lose the belts tonight. They can do what Becky Lynch did earlier, then that's the way they're going to do it. They have to win by pinfall. Oh, submission. Yep, that's one way of doing it as well. And remember, count out is always an option. Uh, guys, is it me or did the AI just act up then for a second? <laughs> Christian Roberts suddenly had Carl Dunn's voice. What was all that about? Well, oh, just helping him out a little bit. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> I thought, and I thought, J and I thought JJ's AI was malfunctioning, and now yours is starting to uh, show a little effect. Hmm. At least in my AI, I don't have that. But then again, I might give it a try. Well, they got themselves disqualified, but this is time they're, gonna, they're not going to have that out. Let's hope, see if they'll take uh, heed from their stablemate Becky Lynch and do it the right way. But probably not, because it's these bastards. Then again, it could happen, you know, if they do so, then they might, you know, win cleanly. Sometimes you've got to do it that way. Then again, as you said, these two sons of bitches will not play clean. They won't I, do anything. I honestly, I don't think they could live with themselves if they won clean. No, well, yeah. But again, it could happen, you know. I mean, that's the best way to go about it. Wouldn't you guys do it if you were in their position? I, well, the, the amount of uh, how, how I've basically had to bring them to the lawyer's table just to get them to show off for work. I don't give a damn what they're, what they're thinking, to be honest. It's safe to say I don't think the same either. I don't feel the same way either. I think if I think if I was in there, if I was in their shoes, I'd be looking for a quick exit by countout. Oh yeah, Jesus! That's true. You've Rupert. left you, you've left the loophole there, there open, Carl. I know. Don't know about you guys, but I is it Neil? Believe, guys, these guys are smart. Together. They know they know all of the tricks of the trade. They're not veterans. As much as I hate to admit it. They're not veterans, you know. They're still young. Well, <laughs> Miz is a veteran, but MJF Miz is a veteran. MJF, yeah, MJ, is a... MJF may not have the experience, but he he's a smart bastard. Oh, oh my god! Dive, had, no one was there. He had experience oh to my, get out of the way of that. Oh my god! How is that Chili still alive? Look at like Shelley grow his hair that long that quick at the last time we saw him. Well, you know, hair extensions are a thing. I gotta tell you guys, is it me or is this black and white seem to be the colour of the night here? Well, everybody's putting it on black here at uh, Double or Nothing in Las Vegas. Yeah, I just noticed that yeah. because yeah, they're, 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 they're really using really much, the speed. There isn't much considering the room tonight. Is uh, only the Miz is in separate colours. I gotta admit, I do like his attire. That's pretty good. Well, it's how apt it is that uh, the pricks are uh, in black in this uh, scenario, and the the Mercy Machine Guns, the <laughs> the pure tag team, are in white. Yeah, except I don't know why about you guys, but I think MJF's attire kind of reminded me of Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, almost a little bit. She's paying homage to him. And Alex oh Shelley my is... God! What a drop kick! Yeah, Alex Shelley is looking great here in this opening map, uh, opening moments of this match. Opening match? We just had that hours ago, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> opening moments, you know what I mean. Yeah, there we go. I thought we were time looping for a second. But anyways, 
kind of uh, scribbling over ourselves here, ladies and gentlemen. But that's what happens on these events. For some reason, the referee is looking out to the crowd and not paying attention to the match. What was that about? What a, no. what a double team move by Mayland oh. MJF. Alex Shelley has been busted open. That's Chris Saban. Chris Saban in now. I don't think he's been busted open. I think he's just been his bells went wrong a bit. No, I think I think he is bleeding. Yes. It, it wasn't like ketchup soap flying off his face there for a yeah, second. Yeah, he's, de he's definitely bleeding. That's sort of his eye there. Now that is gonna that is gonna start affecting his um, um uh, his vision. I think I think he's been giving MJF ideas. Oh no, I thought he was leaving. Oh, Chris Saban back in the ring. Simon was known as topped up Shelly the last time, but now he's had a nice haircut and reverse Frankenstein. Well, I, 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 did, I did cross paths with um, MJF earlier and I did mention the count out option. That's a good job I wasn't there to see that because if there were, I would have been talking some shit about him. You have to wonder how much of like bragging rights or they don't want to oh. be mocked for the fact of losing to the Mercedes machine guns tonight. Yeah, well, if the, well, if the moment she'd be going to win, they'll have plenty to brag about by winning the gold. Indeed. I mean, how long has it been since they've held tag team gold, guys? I believe they were Impact World Champions not too long ago. Um, I mean, Impact is not what it used to be, though. Just ask Chris Jericho, as he told us last month. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's not go there. As long as Nate has something to do with it when he gets back soon enough. Although I've heard rumours that there might be a new TNA coming up. Maybe. A flapjack oh, by Yeah. Who knows? Again, the arrogance, the cockiness coming just, from MJF is just sickening. After every move, he just, you know, he get... Hey, look at that. I think he gets off on, on getting booed. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he does. Um, wow. I, I, I don't know why I keep shooting on about him, but he is just as bad as Flannel of Putin right now. That's how bad he is. <laughs> I think I think you're pushing I, it. I think you're pushing the it. the AEW well. fans would agree. Yeah, he killed anyone. Yes, I know, Tom, I was. And wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. What a counter. What a counter. Oh, what a counter. I don't know where that's it. Did you see that? He went straight that was, finisher. That was out of nowhere. Heck, <laughs> what the hell? What a move. We have some uh, intervention from our uh, sponsors there. I think, our, uh, our new sponsors, I, I, Dirty I think Move. That was, I, think that was, I think that was Impact <laughs> invading. No, oh, okay. <laughs> You said that was so if you want to if you want to bat there on DraftKings, there's the information on your screen about that. <laughs> I thought the match yeah, was the, over. The, 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 the odds of the odds of the odds of a count out of a severe have severely dropped since I mentioned <laughs> it a few times. Indeed. The book oh. the bookmakers are going to be really pissed at me if that happens. Yeah, you just yeah you just, yeah, just, you just, <laughs> you just lost a lot of money. To be, and, and, to be, and, and to be honest with you, given, given where we are in the country, um, I could be in a bit of trouble if um, there's a count out, so... Yes, indeed. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this, this, this entire city is owned by the mob. all your life savings on count out, I think. <laughs> oh, no, this, entire, this, this entire city is owned by the mob. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble if, uh, if these guys get counted out. Worry. Tom, do not worry. If you're in the WWA right now, we don't do that very yes. often. Yes. Yes, yes, yep. Mocking yeah, Brian yeah, Danielson with those kicks. We're, we're, we're not, we're not. So if anybody does happen to, if anybody does happen to see any any men in black suits with fedoras, let me know. I do have a shot them under the set. <laughs> if you do that properly with the SES. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Don't do that. I'm wearing a black suit right now in white ties, but I'm not associated with those dudes. If Miz and MJF get counted out, I may have to leave. <laughs> don't worry, you got the country. Tom, um, don't worry, I've got the shotgun here to protect you. <laughs> okay. So far, we've got Miz and uh, Alex Shelley uh, basically having a bit of a boxing match there, almost there. Motor City Machine Guns, I think, uh, taking control of this match in the last uh, few if, minutes. If, if, um, if, if things go south, I may need a machine gun. <laughs> oh, you got Man. the tag team. Well, you got the tag team challenges right now. The Murray machine guns in your corner there, Tom. If that happens, <laughs> <laughs> not the machine gun I was looking for. And wait a minute, we got a bridge pinfall there, but MJF broke it up. Nice butterfly reverse German suplex there. But I, I know, we, I know, we don't like these guys, but it's just facts. Uh, Miz and MJF, they can take a beating. <laughs> um, <laughs> as much as we, just, as much as we just, love to see it, they can take a beating. 
Just to correct you, you don't like these guys. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, they're fighting well, like a tag team should, but it's just that they're so arrogant and cocky I, and sticking. I, in. I would like these guys, except for uh, all the uh, money they keep holding me up for. I'm trying to take my <laughs> tag belts onto other TV shows if I don't sue them. You won't be coming to my company, that's what I'm telling you. I keep saying it like a broken record. If it happens, I'll have to get Hulk Hogan on the belt. It won't happen. It won't happen, it won't happen, because I will sue them for everything they're worth. Bricks. Good. Well, good. Keep them. Or send them I, 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 I had to... Threatened yeah. fines They're, from him to yeah, they, the title defenses. They seem to be AEW bound, whether uh, whether they like it or not. They're they're stuck here for the next year. So far, they're bringing the fight well, to the challenges. That, that, that bidding war of 2024 might come into effect uh, if MJF has anything to say about it. Mm, that's oh, true. We'll see what that's happens. a that's a long time away. But right now, we have a tag team title match, and the Motor City Machine well. Guns are coming back here. Oh, we're almost halfway through the year, yeah. JJ. It's May. It, it's it's in May at the minute, so we're not far from June. Yeah, and you're right there, Tom. Chris Saban's bleeding there, that eye there. You're right. I think he's half blinded. Now, it's going to oh, affect his, what a, what what a affect duty his visibility in this match. What a duty team there for Chris Saban. That's what's now that's, heavily in control. That's what uh, Saban and Shelley have to do. Use that speed to their advantage. There's a super kick. And Jeff is definitely on the back foot now. That's what the challengers have got to do, Carl. They've got to keep the champions on the back foot. Oh, and a straight oh, forward. Oh, big, God. big strike. It's almost like a Mike Tyson shot there. Uh, MJF wishes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. What change a of combination. Rush. That was like change of Dominic Dijakovic and Keith Lee with those moves. Here comes Chris Saban. Oh, oh, oh Sagan's recovery. MJF is rocked. Is it MJF's down, I think. Although he's going back up. Here we go. Cross Saban might have wanted to go for a cover there. Oh, cold cup. Oh, no, well, this... Oh, saw the old... Saw the Wait old a second, breaker. arm bar. The arm, no. Saw the old arm breaker. That could have been it. Oh, listen to the crowd. They are, they want the champ. They don't want the challengers to win this match. It's so they want to see a title change. They want these sports entertainment guys gone. Well, wouldn't you? Well, Indeed. I mean, don't answer that. No. <laughs> WWF. I run That's WWF. Enough. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would, and I win WWA. That's a hell no. They're banned. And I'll have a DDT there. Oh, um. damn. God oh, damn it! What for that? It wasn't a plan. And there was no uh, chasing. They actually won cleanly. MJF able to hit More that CDT out of nowhere. I really thought yeah. that running like, into the like we saw with Becky over. Lynch earlier that they got their ass kicked. But at the end of the day, it just takes three seconds, and MJF able to get that quick pin. Well. Despite what I said earlier, if they learned from what said they can Becky Lynch, they retain the gold, and with deep regret, they took my word and they've just won the match, so I'll be down for the rest I, not of the gonna night. Not going to lie, I think MJF's foot might have been out of bounds there, but... I think it was, actually. If the referee, if the referee doesn't see it, then, and the referee doesn't call it, then that's that. There's no VAR in wrestling. Oh, they don't do that in my WWE. VIs do not exist. Yeah, up. What a night for the SES so far. Can it continue in our main event? But first, the leadership of the elite, Adam Cole and Kenny Omega. This is going to be an absolute brawl, JJ. I'm telling you, I predicted this is going to be perhaps match of this the night. This is going to be one hell of a wrestling match. Well, it all started over the championship. Adam Cole was handed the title to some people's eyes by the Young Bucks. But then he was left on his own in that cage match, lost the title to Bret Hart, and he blamed the Elite for it. Adam Cole thinks he's the undisputed leader of the Elite, and Kenny Omega has something to say about that. The undisputed well, leader, even though that was an NXT uh, uh, faction there, JJ, but I can see what you're trying to get at. <laughs> I mean, well, he was the first AW champion of the new era. Some people think he was handed that by the elite when he was left on his own. He lost the title. 
And somehow he finds that it's Kenny Omega's fault. Well, as JJ said, uh, Adam Cole was a good veteran guy in the but he was not the right champion for AEW. It, it was, he got a lot of it was Adam Cole that, that, that was uh, berating his own guys, that was being abusive, for lack of a better term, to his own guys. And he still, to this day, blames them for his shortcomings. Even though the Young Bucks literally handed him the world title in our very first show. We all know what Bret Hart had to say about it, though. He had his own opinions, which we Adam all Adam Cole may have been the first champion of the new era, but it's this man that has been the longest AEW champion in its entire history. And his opponent from North Carolina, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kenny Omega! Oh, Kenny Omega in a nicely looking attire of white, red, and silver and blue. He looks like he's ready for a fight. Indeed he is. Uh, and Omega is ready to go. Not even, not even waiting for the music. He's just, he's ready to get this match started. Oh, we need to get that barricade sorted in case some of the fans decide to jump that barricade into that ring near the entrance way. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Kenny Omega wants to put an end to this, to this infighting. He wants to put an end to any outsiders that want to come into the elite. Well. Listen to that crowd, they're actually shouting for Adam Cole here tonight in Las Vegas. They want him to be the leader of the elite. Well, that is... That's a bit surprising. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, some fans are going to decide one way or another, but... Uh, the, the elites have agreed that the winner of this match will be the leader of the elite. And they've also agreed that the loser will probably not be in the elite anymore. I was going to say, I, I don't I don't see how... Uh, I don't see how the loser can, can stay in the elite or would be willing to stay in the elite if they're not the leader. Yeah. Indeed. I mean, this has been one of the most hyped, anticipated matches, but only one can win this matchup. You, you know the Young Bucks are are watching this match carefully. You gotta wonder what their th thoughts are. Yeah, maybe if whoever loses, do you think they'll be out of the, uh, the elite? Right, I mean, if without them, there is no elite, right? What I mean, could we see a new elite form afterwards? Who knows? So, with new, how many with questions? New, with new uh, management so comes new members. Mm. First Frankensteiner there by Kenny Omega. Goes to the top. Oh, oh cool. Wow, cool. Wow. Oh. Age of Finn Balor there. Oh, uh, an early two count. You can tell the crowd are definitely uh, in tune with this. They have been looking forward to this all night long. And, and a cross over body the by Kenny Omega. The a standing moonsault. Oh, Kenny is not messing around. All business tonight. Going Kenny. straight for the big moves. This is the this is a motivated Kenny Omega. This is a Kenny Omega that realizes he lost in the second round of the tournament and he has to be better. And what better way to you know, sharpen iron. Iron sharpens iron, so to speak. And what better oh, way to sharpen it than a victory over Adam Cole? Oh, oh. We need to be a bit sharper on it there. We need to be paying attention as Adam Cole came back. He also lost in that triple threat match at the last pay-per-view as well. So again, he's very motivated. But Adam Cole with oh. a swinging suicide DDT on the floor. Holy cow. Oh and a goodness. knee trigger. Take nothing away from Adam Cole either. Can Adam Cole. Adam Cole is motivated. He he Holy wants to get cow. back to title contention. The King Sasha. What the hell? I tell you, this, this match. It's if you love hard hitting action, this is the match for you. Non stop you guys, so far. This has been a brawl from the beginning. This is exactly how I said it was going to go. Here we go, up the rampway. Well, Glenn, you said this would be a fight, and you might be right on this. They're, they might fight all over the arena. What happens on a countdown? What happens on a draw? Do they both lose? Do they both leave the elite? Oh, the no, no, no. He... Oh, oh God. my God. Okay, it was on his well, knee. Kenny Omega is going gonna, is gonna to settle for a countout victory. Oh, Somehow, Adam Cole, Adam Cole makes his way to the ring. Adam Cole says, no, I'm not going to lose by a countout, you son uh, of a no. bitch. He was dropped on the knee, thank God, rather than his head. Oh god, a cross arm back German suplex and a shiny oh wizard. Oh my god. 
This is like watching a match in fast forward. This is 100 miles an hour since the opening bell. Yeah, at this pace, this is by far the quickest match single-handedly of the night, Carl. I mean, these strikes have just been on point. I mean, I know this is the battle of leadership of the elite, but these guys are finding oh. out like they've got a world title match on the line almost. That's how much this match means to them. Well, I mean, both of them were in contendership. Kenny Omega lost the world title, a more contendership triple threat, to Chris Jericho, oh, who, who's Whoa. getting the title shot this month. And of course, Adam Cole was the world champion. Well, you got to think. In March. You, you got to think the winner of this match is at least in uh, in contention for a contendership. Yeah. Indeed. Ooh. Once again, the pace is just going quickly, and now it's slowing back to a crawl. Maybe that's what I'm calling needs. Maybe he needs to slow it down. He's going to the top rope. He's on Brett's rope, as you like to say, Carl. So a drop oh. kick. Big drop kick. And for Kenny Omega, you could argue that maybe this is bigger than world titles. This is Kenny Omega standing up for his friends, for his for his is brothers Kenny in the start elite. To fail? Oh, yeah, indeed. That, Kenny is one of the founding around. members of the elite. Oh, he invited Adam Cole into the group. Adam Cole left, went to WWE, formed the Undisputed Era, came back. He was reaccepted, turned on them, then was reaccepted again. And yet, look how disrespectful he's been since becoming world champion. Oh man. What a turn of events that was, a Irish rip exchange into a rolling German suplex and now Kenny Omega going for the knee trigger, here he goes. And out of all of the variations of Bullet Club and Elite that there have been, uh, it's, it finally comes down to this, Kenny Omega just had enough of Adam Cole's uh, crap. Knee yeah. to the head. Oh man, I bet you... Knee trigger. I bet you Bret Hart's watching this match backstage and thinking he could beat both these guys if he wanted to because let's be no, honest, he did beat one of them in I March. Think, but I think I think Bret Hart is, tra is training right now. He's getting those last minute get ready for Chris Jericho, preparations. Yeah. And might be might be he's uh what's the word uh, multitasking. He's training and watching at the same time. Oh, well, that could be super it. Like, super kick. One, two, Ooh. Ooh, just a two count. Seems like the crowd had gotten split. They were chanting for Adam Cole earlier on, but now they're kind of cheering on for Kenny Omega. Oh, oh my goodness. A that was almost his own knee. version. Adam Cole loved it, thinking you he was number one. You have to wonder what an, elite, what an elite under the management of um, Adam Cole would look like. It would look a little, uh, little more like Undisputed, I'd imagine. Yeah. Well, we haven't got any more guys in the... Well, we have got a we, rumours... We, we, be careful what you wish for. We may not want to imagine that. Oh, but then again, we have got a mid-draft summer coming up. I've just heard a rumor about that on my uh, headset here, guys. So we yeah, might perhaps. get some more guys. Perhaps. It's just a roll. Oh. Sling blade. Big sling blade. Only one man, that, only the master of that is Finn Balor, and Kenny Omega stealing it here. Uh, <laughs> Kenny Omega making a case for, for his own variation. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could this be? Oh, oh not quite. Oh, German Big super. German suplex, though. Wait, Who's that playing? Who's the music's playing there, Carl? It's on this music. Oh, wait a second. What the wait heck? That doesn't make they any sense. They don't even work here. Oh, this spirit was gone. What the heck? What is the going on in the truck tonight? Oh, somebody, come back somebody to somebody's that. been somebody's been paying off the production team. I know we don't have Kenny uh, Kevin right. Dunn. I can't yell at him, but but who the hell am I gonna yell at? Haven't done as if you were. What are they doing in, all, in the truck? In all, in all, in all fairness, I was speaking to the guys in the truck, and you ain't paying them very much, Carl. To be honest, so if oh, somebody is offering the money, somebody, Sorry. somebody, lock or so, do something. It doesn't even happen oh, in my company. We don't do that. Oh, no, no, no. What the heck? Canadian oh, the, Panama Sunrise? Oh, the, oh, the Panama Sunrise. On two, no. Oh, kick out! Kenny has got too much left. I don't believe Panama City Sunrise does not get it done. We've got two, we had two uh, matches now being played by the music. What is going on backstage in that production truck? We need to get a lawsuit. Yeah, it, is a, it is a wild Somebody, scene. The SES, you have to imagine, playing Chris Jones. People music are during crawling, Becky's dogs match. are biting people, humans are biting humans. It's a crazy <laughs> scene in the back. And, and this match has become a brawl. There was fists flying all over the place then, but now they're going to pick up the pace up. Oh, Jesus. To the back. 
Adam Cole and Kenny Omega are just literally trying to tell these fans this match means more than the main event itself. Either way, this has been a fantastic match, and you're right. I think for these guys, this match does mean more than the main event. So then, yeah. I just, I just don't like the asterisk for Adam Cole that he, uh, uh, that Kenny Omega was in control of this match, and then that music started playing as, like, I guess, a distraction that, that he paid off the uh, the production truck, I guess. Now Adam Cole, oh, big DDT, Omega oh, get, getting sent into the stairs. It's two times we've seen that move tonight from Adam Cole. He is throwing caution to the wind legitimately tonight. This is this has become so personal between these two. A suplex oh, on the outside. Adam Cole's leg right into the guardrail. Athen Carpet has been taking a beating tonight, guys. I'm not sure it will survive the rest of the night. These guys have been taking a beating as well. Oh. What a match this has been between these two absolute ring veterans. Oh, and Kenny just made the ring post. Kenny's dizzy. Oh, Cole does not want to take the count out, apparently. Wow. No, he doesn't. Uh, well, I think, I mean, Cole has an ego, let's be honest. And he wants yeah. to be able to say that he pinned Kenny Omega in the ring. Yeah, well, probably. Yeah, but at the same time, I think a pinfall victory is the honorable way to win a wrestling match. And I think that's what he wants. Uh, I don't think, I don't think, with Adam Cole, I don't think it has anything to do with honor. It's about ego. Oh, definitely. But here we go anyway. He's going to do it. One. One. Two. two. Oh. No. Kenny Omega still fighting. He's he's got to fight for not just himself but for his friends, and for uh, all of the elite, for all of the people that have ever been elite. You saw the look on Adam Cole's face. He was visibly frustrated. He didn't know what to do now. Desperation's sinking in. From from Cody to Finn to AJ to Omega himself to the Bucks, Kenny's got to fight for all of those guys. Indeed. This has been physical and brutal. Oh no, here we go with the Panasonic oh, no. again, maybe. Going for it again. Is he going to hit oh, it? Oh. oh. That, that was, that was so good. Like it folded like an accordion. That is it. One, One two, two, three. three. Adam Cole is the leader. Damn it. it. Took two Panama Sunrises to finish the job. I bet you well, Adam Cole well, would remember who's in Well, well now, uh, now the question has to be asked, what the hell is the Elite going to look like now? Maybe, well, it's uh, going to look like uh, oh. not with not with Kenny Omega is what it's going to look like. Who will be the well, fourth? We, we, what we, a, we, what we, a we, shocker. We don't, know, we don't know that for certain. We know that um, Adam Cole is now the leader, but, but we don't, um, Ken, the, the stick did not say that Kenny was banished. Uh, Adam Cole said I, that he was going to kick him out. There was so much right. bad, bad blood between these guys. I, I can't see them coexisting. Kenny Omega oh, no, disappointed, they absolutely, understandably oh, oh, so. They absolutely won't. Oh, look at that. The young, the, young, the young Buck's not happy about it either. Oh, they, abso uh -huh. they, they absolutely won't. But there's an old there's an old, old adage, an old adage that um, I've always thought of. It's um, it's better to be um, inside pissing out than it is to be outside pissing in. That is true. That is true. Here we go. What Here we go, guys. Main event time, guys. We've reached the shocking matchup. A, a night full of shocking matches here tonight. And here we have the main event for the World Championship. <laughs> Oh, I see where the rest of the budget for the night went. <laughs> yeah. America must have paid you off, Carl, for the budget reasons. Now, can, we get truck, can we get the truck to play some different music right about now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. play Jericho's old theme. Play theme from, uh, from the guy who did his song get Survivor what? Series, King of the World. What I mean, an you ego, got, you, you, what you an ego get... maniac. I mean, I mean, guys, you've got to give credit to Jericho. Not only is he... Um, uh, getting Carl to pay him for wrestling tonight, but Carl's paying um, royalties for Jericho's own music. Yep. Yeah. What kind of yep. egomaniac needs sings his own theme song? It's been a long time. Somebody since got some, so, um, I, I believe. Um, I um, I believe. Um, it's Jericho. Uh, I believe Steve Austin once said, 
Um, I, I bring. Uh, I used to bring Deborah to WWF events because you got two paychecks this way. <laughs> I don't know what it was there, but did you see Jericho? He was like he was listening to us, pulling a stupid face as if he doesn't give a shit. On the back. I don't. I don't think he gives a shit about anybody. The fans, yeah. the wrestlers, Jericho's the boys. Quite in the back. He doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't care about anybody but himself, and maybe the SES. And even that, even that, I don't know if he cares about. It's almost like he's got uh, Sabaton's uh, logo on the back of his shirt there for a second with the big S on it. But here we go, we got another Canadian, the best ever, the master of the sharpshooter, Bret Hart. And here he comes, guys, and the crowd explodes. The, ma the man who rates everything but himself for uh, a 10. <laughs> uh, I guess he stopped dropping that for now because he's having five out of this five. This is a man that does care. Maybe he cares a little too much. He cares about the fans. He cares about that championship. He cares about being the best professional wrestler in the world. Oh. Well, that's what this match is about. It's about professional wrestling versus sports entertainment. Bret Hart is the man. He put Canadian wrestling on the map. He got me into Canadian wrestling if it weren't for him like the 31 years ago. I've met him a couple of times. I told, I told him he's the best Canadian wrestler ever and he was absolutely touched by it. He liked what I said. I'm telling you. Is the he, he, the he then rated you four out of ten. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure didn't. Brett really loved it when you said that uh, he was the best. He was the greatest Canadian wrestler of all time, and he said that was a ten out of ten comment. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he did. But I'm, 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 I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. It was twelve years ago, by the way, to be exact. And now, uh, Joke again, the booze in, but he thinks he's being cheered. What a douche. He, he's delusional. Delusional wrestlers do not play well in the ring. Well, delusional yeah. man is a dangerous man. Well, we all well we all know what's uh, uh, well we all know how delusional Brett was back in the day, but this is a totally reinvented hitman. Look at that, looking at the gold as if it's going to be his last night. It Go might on. be. Look at, and I have to say, look at Bret Hart's attire. It looks like he's wearing oh. his uh, SummerSlam from SummerSlam Wembley Stadium in 1992, 31 well, years ago. Bret Hart knows what we all know, and, and whether Chris Jericho wants to admit it or not, Chris Jericho is one of the best professional wrestlers in the world, and so Bret Hart knows that he has his work cut out for him tonight. Yes, he oh, does. Goodness. Don't know about you. Straight to the attack on the hitman. Oh, there goes wow. that bat breaker and again. Oh! There we go. See? That's what I'm talking about. Chris Jericho, he may not like me saying it. One of the best professional wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. It's the walls of Jericho versus the sharpshooter. That's why I'm dubbing this match. Oh, uh, well. We've seen uh, the Sports Entertainment Society successful in retaining both of their championships so far. Oh. But can... The crown the final champion for their final member, can Chris Jericho, their spiritual leader, become the world champion tonight? Can he complete the sweep? And if he God does help that, us all if he does. AJ, if Chris Jericho does, this will be the darkest day for AEW, period. I know. Double or nothing, it's it's a great event in AEW's history, and this is this is our one of our big shows of the year, but what a what an absolute Horror it would be if the SES walks out with all of the champions. We've seen new tag champions in the uh, trio of evil earlier tonight. All the championships they're fighting for, I, I should yeah. say. but All the world championships, the world's women's championship, the world tag titles, and perhaps now the world singles heavyweight championship if Jericho can get it done here. Can I tell uh, you not I'm, if Bret Hart has anything to say about it. I'm not too sure if this has ever happened in reality, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time Jericho and Brett have ever wrestled. At least on oh, this stage. I, I believe so. At least on this level for a world championship, that is for no, sure. No, it, 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 it might, have happened, might have happened in WCW. That's what I mean. I'm not sure they ever wrestled in WCW, but no, clearly this is the first time in AEW. I was certainly, let's just face facts, that was certainly a very different Chris Jericho and a very oh, different Bret Hart. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. This is this is two men at their prime. This is Chris Jericho, the veteran, the eight-time champion. This is Bret Hart, the the current world champion. This is a totally different level. If there's Indeed. one, 
If there's one thing that Bret Hart isn't, is that Chris Jericho was the first and only WWF Undisputed Champion back in 2001. That was something he didn't do. No, when these, he two got, these two guys got into a little bit of a... Oh, all these years this. later, he still hasn't let us forget it. Yeah. I mean, the night he beat the Rock and Stone Cold in the same night to win Oh both my out. god, I've heard that for 20 years, we know. <laughs> I know, I haven't yeah, forgotten yeah. anything. Jericho misses with that back springboard oh, elbow. Jericho. Brown Hart almost like a Samoa Joe there, just walking oh, out of yeah. the way. Yeah, Jericho might have been going for a, a Judas Effect type move. Oh, Bret Hart's been watching them tapes while he's been training. Gotta watch so out he... for that spinning elbow that can come out of nowhere. Jericho's oh. gotta watch it. Jericho has to watch out for the small package roll up, the pinfall of doom, which is Bret Hart's favorite move. Yeah, well, he's, that was an, another one. One of the excellence of execution. Here we go. Classic hit, man. The and, snap back oh, well, suplex. Then into the backbreaker. Here and we there go. He goes. Back to Bret Hart's flow with more classic. And on the top rope, there's that double axe handle well executed. You one, saw, thing, one, one, one thing you have to, you, you have got to say about uh, about Brett's move is uh, not one wasted move. Every move no. leads up to what, what Brett intends yeah. to do, which is to defeat you with the sharpshooter. Yes, he does. And, and every move executed to perfection. Yeah, he does. And every move affects the right parts of the body to uh, aid in that. Uh, it's called the, the, ex in the, in the execution. In this, yep. day, in this, in this day and age, you do see a lot of guys who have got a, who have got a submission finisher, but the rest of their moves they just don't work towards that finish. No, they don't. The sharpshooter works on the back and the legs. That is a great course, point, but Brett. Bret Hart, a master strategist, a master uh, game plan. Oh, nice hip toss like, by Jericho. Like, like how many, how many, how many modern day guys do we see each each week, each month, each year, who have got finishes that work the arms, and they just spend the whole match punching their opponents in the face? Yeah, that many. That's <laughs> too, too often. One, too often. One of Jericho's a few of Jericho's stable mates. I mean, you're, you're, you're shooting on them right now. But even Jericho has that move as well. He's he's Walter Jericho focuses on the back and well, the lower Jer leg. I mean, Jericho said in the build up to this, he's he's trying to save AEW from the likes of Bret Hart because he thinks that Bret Hart is going to kill the company by making it all about professional wrestling. Well, it is about professional like wrestling. Like that's such a bad thing. I mean, what what is up? What is up his uh, crawl? Yeah. What what what? Well, he thinks what, Vince McMahon's the best in the world. You heard him. I mean, he, he, I mean, he is he is in the he is in a company called All Elite Wrestling. I mean, there is a there is a company called there is an entertainment company out there. Yes, well, it the, is. The World Wrestling Federation unfortunately did not draft him, and he's with this company. <laughs> and the WWA couldn't get him either. I and if him and Miss and MJF don't like it, they can worry about it in the upcoming draft. But in the meantime, no. they are my they are my champions. Indeed. No, it was disappointing. I couldn't uh, get Bret Hart they're, in they're, my company they're under because eight, I, I mean, really wanted him so I mean, they agreed. All these wrestlers agreed to the draft. I mean, they knew what they were signing up for. Yeah, we'll have, to, um, we'll have to wait and see what this summer draft brings and how, how that's going to be handled. It'll be interesting to see some, well, some uh, top guys. What, you want to talk about uh, sports entertainment versus professional wrestling. Here's Chris Jericho oh, delivering God. some of that sports entertainment. Uh, I can't call that pro wrestling. He's just slamming them into the guardrail. That was just, yeah. that, that's just a physical straight-up brawl, that is uh, for a, a good portion of this match, Bret Hart was excellently executing Chris Jericho, but now Bret, Jericho's taking it to the outside and he's using every shortcut to get back in control. All, all those underhanded tactics that you can think of. Yeah. Then, again, uh, then again, Bret Hart used to do that too back in the Attitude Matt, Matt Era. wrestling, this, this is not right right about now. Oh, God. Oh, my and God. And Bret does have, Bret does oh, have a target man. on him. Oh, come on. Bret does come have on, a target Jared on him. He has, got, he has got a history of head injuries. Did you see him taunting Bret Hart using his he taunt? Was. There? That was ridiculous. And the crowd were livid. Did you oh, hear the that, booze? That, that history might get a little longer if he keeps getting his head run into the guardrail. I mean, we have these guardrails up to, to protect the fans, not to, not for the wrestlers to use as weapons. Yeah, Bret Hart's oh. history with, uh, with head injuries is well documented. Yeah, uh, just ask Bill Goldberg. He kicked him in the head at Starcade 99. Chris Jericho knows he can't beat Bret Hart in a mat wrestling match. That's why he has to take it to the outside. Yeah, and of course, as soon as he gets back in the ring, Bret Hart's back in control to prove that point. 
Oh no, well, wait. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, but look oh. at that, it's Jericho. Big nice German counter. Suplex. On the back yeah. of the head, like like you said. And he got a two count. Hart is still the champion for, for this time period. But Jericho knows he's doing it. He's got a strategy. He's going to try and. Look at this, he's going to try and oh, war with Brett. Now he's going to take him up. He, there's a nice. Uh, Hanging Brett to try, and now Brett's going to the outside to now, recuperate. And now Brett. Now Jericho. Brett trying to get some reprieve from this oh attack. My oh my God, what a moonsault. Wow. Wow. Oh, you can't... Honestly, Jericho's done that since the 90s. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Not since he was in WCW in the yeah, WWF. I mean, you can't deny, like, as much as we got his case, he is a fantastic athlete, this Chris Jericho. That is the thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean and, 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 and like, like I said, like I said earlier, um, Jericho is working the head of Bret Hart because Bret's got his history with head and brain injuries and Jericho has a finisher with a head impact. The Judas effect, absolutely. Indeed. And Jericho knows that. I mean, after all of the despicable stuff Jericho said about Bret and his family and, and some of his departed family members, you don't think Jericho knows every single bad thing that has ever happened to Bret Hart? Oh, of course he does. Like yeah. I mean, Bret, Bret, Hart's career went was to... halted, Bret Hart's career was halted for 10 plus years with a major stroke. The yeah. man was in a wheelchair for years. And we heard, yeah. we heard obviously, Chris Jericho bringing up the fact that he, tra he was trained in the Hart Dungeon, although he never even saw a Hart. He kind of holds that against them, that he paid them money, but they never actually taught him. But it's true though, Jericho was trained in the Stu Hart I mean, dungeon. I mean, they seem to have taught him pretty well. It worked out fine for yeah. Chris. But when you're, in the, when you're in the dungeon, you know, they trained wrestlers and they made them into champions. And that's what happened to Bret Hart, Owen Hart and the British Bulldog and the rest of the other guys who were in the Stu Hart's dungeon. And Jericho was one of those as well, including Chris Benoit himself. God, don't kill me, I said that. But it's a true fact. Even Lance Storm was trained in the Stu Hart's dungeon. I mean Jericho. I mean Jericho does have some uh, some argument there because yes, he was trained in the in the dungeon, but it was at a period when Brett would have been um, Brett would have been in in, in 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 WWF and it, this could be it. Would have been working down. Can that put an end to the sports entertainment society? No. That was the part driver that Bret Hart used to win with his finishers before using the sharpshooter, but sometimes it's uh, also Brett, a set up I think it. Bret Hart uh, getting a measure of revenge for all the uh, head trauma in this match so far. The there we go, the last of the, the, last of the classic Bret Hart five moves of doom, working down, excellently executed to Chris Jericho. Crowd are coming alive, guys. They're chanting for Bret Hart. They want to win they and can, retain the gold. They can feel it. They can feel Bret Hart getting the momentum back. Come on, Bret Hart, you've got to close this show and walk out the champion. I predict you will win. You've got to make Chris Jericho I mean, tap this, out. This is all elite him. wrestling. This is not all elite entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, I mean, no. It, 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 Bret Hart, don't, don't tell Jericho I said that. <laughs> all no. entertainment wrestling? Is that what they'll have it be called? Oh, my God. If they win? Oh, shit, no. You better not, that better not happen. If, just glad I didn't get Jericho in my company, or as he would have called that the WWE World Wrestling Entertainment, it is, it is to screw me over. Well, Bret Hart, I'm going to the top rope. How often did that happen? Yeah. Now Bret Shawn Michaels the top. Elbow. Big elbow. It was a shoot directly towards Shawn Michaels there by Bret. Maybe, maybe. We're a tribute to the Macho Man as he goes for another pile driver. And there he goes. Jericho dropped on his head once again. That's got to be it. That's I, it. Here we go, it's time. Here we go. Shots it's time. Time, He's going to get the legs. He's got to cross over. He's got to In the middle of the ring. Make him tap. Tap, tap out, Chris. Out, tap out. There's no shame in a tap out. Come on, Brett. Seek tap it out. Put, her, put an end to the sports entertainment crap. Oh, middle of the ring. Eric Coe is desperately screaming in agony and Brett Hart is just desperately telling he's him got, to tap. He's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere and to go. And he hang on. Now oh. Chris Jericho has to use some of that pro wrestling to get out of this hold. How long can Jericho Brett, survive? He's holding on, he's oh. holding on so Jer far. Jericho oh, might pass oh, out here. Oh. Oh. How much Jericho damage has he done to the legs? Jericho's you don't legs see the shot, you don't see the shot, he's broken out of very often. And I think... I think that's where, you know, we were talking about the training in the dungeon, that's where that comes into play. Mm -hmm. 
And as much as Chris Jericho fancies himself a sports entertainment, he's also a fantastic professional wrestler. And we just saw a great example of it right there. Jericho's lower back and his legs have got to be killing him, guys. He was oh. in that job shooter for a very long time. Big hip toss. Look at the sweat just pouring Jer off Jericho. I was going to say, is Jericho is just sweating like a pig. <laughs> Red is sweating what a all over the place. Kick. What a match this has been. Jesus. This match has delivered more than I anticipated it was going to be, guys. Bret Hart has it's surpassed it's my expectations. It's two of the, you know, it's the best in the world of what he does against the best there is, the best there was, the best ever, but two of the greatest of all time, without a shadow of a doubt. And Bret with a suicide Brett, dive! Oh my goodness! Like, undoubtedly, unquestionably, two of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Oh, th there was no way this was not going to be fantastic. Oh. And now, well, and now Bret Hart... Uh, Turn the tables on Jericho. Bret Hart not interested in Matt wrestling right now. Oh, he, wants right to, into oh, the corner. he wants to get a measure of revenge. He he heard what Jericho said the other week. He's heard everything that Chris Jericho has said over the last he few did. months. Every disgusting word. Oh, and Jericho oh, is paying head for it right into now. That corner again. Maybe he's going to give Jericho some head trauma after that. I mean, this 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 and match. If you're running it Red on the stars right now, this match has been like eight out of ten for me so far. He's my just range lost system. control here. You and me, guys, we're calling this match up in the skybox office, and we've got the best seat in the house. Now and Jericho. Jericho. Oh. No, I think, oh. I think Jericho. Jericho used that to his advantage. He got Brett. He got Brett to uh, lose track of his game plan. Bret Hart was. Being oh, there's the walls of very aggressive oh, there. Oh, no. This could be it. This. Oh, that's no, a full, that's a full not. Not. oh my goodness. Not. Oh, my goodness. Not no, like come it. on, no. Brett. Right out of it. Come Don't on, tap, Brett. Brett. Hang in there. Just slapping the referee for some reason. <laughs> what a feather in the cap it would be for Jericho if he made Bret Hart tap out. We would no, never really. hear the end of that. Oh. And Bret if Hart you, thought he, if you thought he bragged about beating Stone Cold and The Rock, if he makes Bret Hart tap out, we will never hear the end of it. Well, he might, Bret managed to get out of it some way, somehow Bret got out of it. He's using his leg strength there. And wait a minute, Jericho going for the three amigos, chains of Eddie Guerrero. Well, he is the third man in that friendship group. Oh. Okay, big, 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 Bret Hart just not even giving Jericho the satisfaction of a two count. Wait, Jericho going back for the sharp shoot. Bret's going to That's, That's it. it. That's it. Turn That's him it. over, Bret. Turn He's him over. It. That's it. He's very... That's got to be it. it. Jericho it. had nothing. Jericho tap. Bret did it, guys. He won by submission as I predicted. Title stays with the hitman. Pray to the Lord. Bret Hart won and retained. What a match. Take, take nothing away from Chris Jericho except his piss poor attitude. Yes, indeed. Well said, JJ. Jericho. Very nearly had Brett a couple of times there. It took he almost got Bret Hart to tap out, but Bret Hart was able to hang on. Eventually, got Chris Jericho in the sharpshooter, and Jericho could take the pain no longer. Look at Bret Hart. He knows he was in for a good match. Yeah, you, have, you, you, have, you, you have got a question, what seems to be selling in Jericho's group that he's the only one to be unsuccessful. What well, a match guys, and what a night we've had at AEW Double or Nothing 2023. We'll see you next time, Dynamite. So long everybody. <laughs>
rewrite my script well, again. I will uh, find out tomorrow. But uh, let's do uh, a couple of quick thoughts before we get out of here. Um, so we opened up with the trios championships all the way back at the start of the show. It was the like, Casa de la Morte against the men they wronged, AJ Styles, Sting, and uh, of course AJ, AJ Styles, Sting, and Ray Phoenix, I should say. And uh, eventually, though, it is Penta El Zero Medo manages to get uh, AJ Styles to tap out to the cross arm breaker cross face maneuver. Um, so yeah, I'll go to uh, Tom. Let's uh, let's start with you. I spent the whole ma- I spent the whole match um, trying to work out how big. Um... Mortez was, to be honest, but... Uh, How much does that guy weigh? Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, 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 ge- like, genuinely, like, I, I was sort of playing at it a bit, but at the same time, like, does anybody else see what I mean? That he, he, he seems, like, too big to exist, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> There's no steroid. A- There's no steroid test in AAA, huh? Just, uh, well, yeah, that, that really... Just ask Andre. He was way too big to even exist in a real world. <laughs> no, but and- Andre had the height to go with it. Um, like the way I, s- Mortez seems like too small to be that big, almost. Um, <laughs> and, and in the in the in the real world, I get that same vibe with Brian Cage. Mm, mm-hmm. oh, like God. that body doesn't look like it should they're exist. Too they're too big to do the things that they do. It's, it's really oh cool. Jesus! Yeah. yeah. Giving me a bad vision in my head. Way to go, Tom. <laughs> Anyways, my opinion, this match was just... It was uh, chaotic. We barely had any uh, pinfalls. There was so many breakups. If I have to go and rewatch that, I will have to write down a scoreboard of how many. Okay. And uh, I didn't expect the uh, the triple villains to get away with it, actually, to be honest. I was very shocked. I thought you were going to give it to AJ and Sting and, uh, and uh, Phoenix, to be honest with you, Carl. But... Wow. Especially Penta getting the getting the tab out of victory. Yeah, it was, and of course that match ended in controversial. Let me tell you, but yeah, the sting, belt sting, sting kicking uh, uh, Aubrey Edwards in the face. <laughs> yeah, for no reason, <laughs> illegally yeah. because it was a woman, and Sting does not bang on women. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're in my yeah, I know. Let's, and let's not talk about banging women. That's not right. Anyways, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Before we talk some more shit. Um, you go, you go next, JJ, because I think I'm already getting. So a, this is uh, just uh, you know, chaotic. <laughs> these these six man matches, whether it's a whether it's a battle royal or 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 a tag, they're just they're always nuts. Um, so you know, good good booking here. You know, the right team went over. Uh, shocking that Pentagon went over AJ, but there's only there's only so much you can do as far as uh, as far as that. I wonder if that was planned if you're really pushing pentagon hard or that's just what the computer laid out i guess we'll find out uh in the coming weeks but uh but yeah the the right team definitely went over here and it was just a chaotic crazy match Mm. uh glenn Glenn agrees uh he'll be back in a minute i'm (laughs) soon um already um so as we went on to the second match it was the women's championship uh it was jay cargill against becky lynch now the uh, reformed into big time Becky Lynch um, coming out with a new look for the for the new game and uh, so she is able to retain uh, there is a bit of a thing where Jade hits a finisher and it looks like that uh, there's some musical interference but other than that it's relatively clean as Becky gets the win with a manhandle slam I'll go to Tommy first again oh well um uh, did you go to me first yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we can oh, hear sorry. you um, you're, the, you're, um... you're the, you're the honoured guest so. Uh, the um, again, again, I saw. Um, I mean, we had um, we had some uh, we had a uh, match there, but we had a uh, a battle of um, experience versus sheer power in this one. Um, Jade's got the athleticism; she's got all the ingredients to be um, at the very at the very top, but just not the experience and i think uh, her time will come but i don't think it's it's yet mm. I, I really think, don't i think um tom i don't think i don't think i don't i don't think she's got enough experience <clears throat> to be the division leader yet mm. <sighs> mm. Uh, 
Who do you want to go next? Um, uh, we'll, we'll keep it the same. We'll keep it the same order. Why don't you go next? Yeah. Um, I thought this match was a bit more better than I predicted it was going to be. I mean, Jade literally took it to uh, Becky Lynch, and um, well, as you could tell, the match spoke for itself. But despite that little interference that happened afterwards, um, well, Jade still took it. But in the end, the champion retained and she won it the right way via pinfall and made a statement. But um, I did think it was J uh, Jade's time. But as Tom said, I don't think it's not her time just yet. So I think she'll have to uh, continue on, despite the fact that she had her first loss in the new AEW, which is going to perhaps play on her for a long, long time. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's always another time. It's just not now for Jade. Which is a little bit disappointing, to be honest. JJ? I actually thought this was like one of the better matches of the night, to be honest. And uh, I thought this was a great example of like, it made Jade. Jade looks like a, I mean, you've been pushing her, obviously, but like now she's in there with a legit, you know, main eventer from WWE, so to speak. Uh, she dominated, really, honestly. Like so much of that match, she dominated. I thought that made her look great. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch gets the win, um, in in kind of a split second, you know, quick, you know, finisher pin. Uh, I just thought that that made Jade, you know, look so much more dominant. So a great match, uh, really, honestly, one of the better matches. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, mm -hmm. good stuff. There was the Casino Battle Royal, sort of a mini 10-man Royal Rumble, which led to the last two men, which were Jack Perry and Jushin Liger for the International Championship. But in the end, Jushin Liger uh, is able to uh, get back from his little losing streak he's been on lately and become the International Champion. I'll go to Tom first. The, uh, the International title is perfect for Liger. Um, uh, in... A previous un in a previous universe, he held a mid-level title for uh, an extended period of time, and um, uh, could we be seeing the start of another run like that? Um, well, we can only wait to find out in over the over the course of the next two years. Yeah, and uh, like for me, the international title, like it says in the name, it it should be a belt that makes it makes sense to go on somebody from like New Japan or whatever, just to make it distinct for me. Um, Glenn, I have to say, um, I'm I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. This was one of my favorite matches of the night. Um, there were some funny moments in there, like uh, like Luchasaurus was doing good, but just as his partner, um. You know, Jungle Boy came in just as he came in. He was eliminated, and I was like, "Oh, well, there goes that." That, but then you had something even better. You had, um, you had, um, Juice and Liger come in early at number four, and then Brian came in after at number five. And I thought those were going to be the two guys in, but ironically, one of one of two of my predictions went all the way to the very end, and it was just fantastic how it was in. It was a well-told story, and of all the guys who survived. Jushin Liger and Jungle Boy were the last two guys in, and whatever they had left in the tank, they literally broke through the glass ceiling, and Jungle Boy was so, so close of making history. But unfortunately, Jushin Liger made a big rebound from his loss, and, you know, and as JJ said in the commentary, there was nobody who was more deserving for the international uh, title than Jushin Liger, and... It actually goes with him, so I think you made a good, smart move by putting it on a legend. And as I said in the commentary, the greatest Japanese mass wrestler of all time, Jushin Liger, was fitting for that title. So good work on that, Carl. And I was very impressed with the talent that was in there. Um, now, it's just one, one, one thing I do want to just jump in and add um, is whilst we've seen the start of a Liger run with the title, um, what I'm the most keen to see is where Jack Perry goes, Jungle Boy Jack Perry goes from from here. Yeah, he didn't win, and okay, uh, the the record books will always have him down as having a defeat here. Uh, what I'm keen to see is whether he can leverage this positive 
finishing second is still better than finishing last. Yeah, the crowd went nuts when he kicked out of the yeah. shutter door press. Oh, he did. Can he, can, he, can he leverage that into a run higher up the card doing something else? Uh, is he going to stay as a tag team? Is he going to... This could be a, a singles leaping off point for him if he wants it. Um, as the fans definitely seemed ready to back him. So if he wanted to go on a singles run, at, maybe at the t- after the TNT title or... God forbid, even at the world title. Oh, it's early. It's early in his career, mm-hmm. but you've got to take yeah, that I mean, risk uh, at some I, point. I, I was very happy with how the match turned out for that because he looked fantastic. And in, he the, did. In the match like definitely, definitely. It, as I, uh, JJ, just, be, just, be, oh, sorry, yeah, just to wrap this one up, guys. I have to say, Carl, you made. Liger, like he always has been, overcomes the odds at the last moment just when you think he was down and out. But you made Jungle Boy look like a true superstar in this match. And I do believe that in the future, this could be a potential for a main event push. And maybe, as I dare say, he could make a future world champion. But I think this could be his story of going after this international title with Liger. So I feel like we've got ourselves a set-up feud between these two, but mm. I also question how long Liger's reign's going to last. But again, I was so proud of how the results turned. It was just, like you mm-hmm. said, like it was such good booking and perfectly well told. And to be quite honest, I, yeah, yeah. to be quite honest, it was the best picture yeah, of the I was, night. I was just, I was going to piggyback off of a, off of Tom's point there that, uh, that for, for a few moments in, in the, uh, in the one-on-one match, we'll call it, I was convinced. I'm like, Okay, like this is where this is where Jungle Boy starts his singles run, and this is how we break up Jurassic Express without without doing you know mm. full time like angle on it. Uh, Liger is you know is I think the perfect international champion, certainly the the perfect first champion. You know he has enough prestige to make that title mean something till whenever he drops it, whether it's a year from now or a month from now or whenever. Uh, but I'll just piggyback off of off of Tom and Glenn's point of like Jungle Boy is really hot right now, <laughs> and mm. this is it. I don't know what you're planning, but uh, a Jungle Boy singles run uh, has never looked better in, in the current AEW than than right about now. So mm-hmm. I'm very interested to see where he goes from here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so then it was the. Uh... Uh, it was the tag team titles. Um, it was the most machine guns against uh, Miz and MJF. Uh, Miz and MJF basically retained. Uh, quite surprisingly, with the DDT, um, pretty pretty straightforward this one. Uh, Tom. Well, yeah, the um, uh, the uh, again, Miz and MJF. Um, uh, you could argue missing a trick, not going for the, um, not taking the open opportunity for a count out. I mean, um, if uh, if it was lesser booked, perhaps they would have done that, and then you lead up to um, you lead up to uh, your character being pissed off at them, yeah. uh, cheating, then getting counted out, this that the other, and then the cage match or something like that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, you didn't go, you didn't go in that, you didn't go in that direction. They didn't go in that direction, so. To a degree, they can now argue in promos that they didn't take they didn't take the um, the easy opportunity, the low hanging fruit, as it were. <laughs> they didn't go for the low. They didn't go for they didn't go for the low hanging fruit. They are capable, and um, all these people talking about um, well, I mean, all at one point or other, all four of us were giving them. A hard time during the match. <laughs> um, they can, they can, um, uh, along with about nine and a half thousand other people in the arena. Um, they can, they can, they can now argue that everybody was wrong, uh, and they were right. You know, I because they did it clean. Yeah, I think they actually took my advice, and I regret they actually may have heard me say that. When they they learned from what Becky Lynch did. And they took the pin for victory, the clean victory, which is what you'd need to be. And uh, who knows, maybe they could prove more dollars if they continue doing it like that. Then they won't have to worry about suing Carl for cash or whatnot. But at the same time, he didn't take any uh, shortcuts. They 
did exactly what they had to do to retain those belts. And for a moment, I thought the Money Machine, Machine Guns were going to win because there were a couple of occasions where they actually nearly got him. If you rewatch that match, they had a strategy going in. But uh, of all things, a DDT sealed the face for them and the champions retained. And to put to to put my thoughts exactly, I think uh, Tom kind of said it all on everybody here tonight. So I think his review kind of speaks for itself. What about you, JJ? So yeah, this was this was a good match. Um, but you know, Miz and MJF have, have I think been the hottest actor, one of the hottest acts in your company. You you weren't gonna take them off, uh, take it off of them just yet. Uh, so a nice little kind of quick surprise win um it's not like they dominated or anything they you know hey it just it takes three seconds and i and i think that works because now from now on you know any move can can win these matches right Mm -hmm. Uh, anybody i I think that i think that as much as we could say ah you know what was that you know and if this was you know this is obviously real booking you know we'd go oh what was that you won with nothing but you know, it's a video game. We can only do so much as far as the AI goes, and you know that makes every move matter, which is you know which is the point. So you know, good stuff. Sometimes a DDT can't finish a match. Yeah, uh, it's not just straight <laughs> Roberts. Um, so yeah, but, um, then we're going in. Yeah, the um, match for the ownership of the elite. It was Andre Bazadar. It's Kenny Omega <sighs> against Adam Cole. Bay Bay. Uh, Adam Cole is able to get the win. There is a bit of an interruption where the Undisputed Era's music plays, but uh, as Kenny gets distracted, but uh, Adam Cole then takes advantage, hits two Panama sunrises, and gets the victory. Tom, why do you speak on this one first? Well, um, the uh, uh, first thing you've got, to, you've got to, um, uh, you can look for wonder, wonder, and look forward to um, what. The elite looks like under new management. Um, mm. uh, obviously, you've got so much opportunity here in terms of um, where Kenny's going to go from this. What Kenny's going to do is Kenny going? I mean, could Kenny be? Could Kenny uh, look at it as well? That's that part of my life over. Time to go and do something else, or? Does he get another group together? Does Kenny even disappear for a while? Um, I mean, we've got the draft coming up. Could Kenny disappear off elsewhere? Uh-huh. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just speculating. But there's uh, two and possibly a third company uh, about to open up um, in the in in the near future. Could Kenny? Because uh, as in the real world. When people have been um, when people have been kicked out of the elite slash bullet club, they've they've left the country. Um, mm, uh, point. You know, when, when people have been kicked out of bullet club, they've gone out. They've they've gone elsewhere. That's what happened with uh, Devitt when he uh, was kicked out of the bullet club in NJPW. Uh, went to WWE. Mm-hmm. He did. Yeah, um, that's true. It's happened with every leader to a degree. Yeah. yeah. So, could 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 Kenny? I mean, yeah, Ken, Kenny could very easily come back and be like, right, no, no, um, yeah, you're the, you're the leader, but I want another match to fight you for, fight you for it. Or Kenny could be like, fuck you. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. he could come back and win uh, the title if Adam Cole gets his belt. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Ken, yeah. Kenny could be like, sod you. You you've got your. You 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 you've got what you you've got what you you've got what you tried to take. You've got what you tried to take. Um, I'm off to go and um, I'm I'm off to go and um, put Hulk Hogan over for six months. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to train for WWE. It's much I like Kenny Omega as a wrestler, but I don't think he would be welcomed in my company, mate. I just could see using him. So who knows? Maybe. Well, you know, just uh, it's, it's like I say, Ken, Ke- um, from uh, from Kenny's point of view. The entire world is open to him. Yes, indeed. Unless he wants to go to the WWF. Whether, whether or not, whether or not you'd book him, I certainly know JJ would, and I don't know the guy who's who's the other guy who's uh, right. supposed to be. Up. I don't. I don't know much much of him, but I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure if um if if uh, if he got a call to say um oh Kenny Omega's available, I'm fairly cer- fairly certain he'd be opening his checkbook. 
Well, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll do well in the new TNA, according to rumours. Uh, if, if, if I was booking a company and Kenny Omega was available, I'd be um, I'd be opening my checkbook. Well, if you ever mm -hmm. if you decide to make your own time, if you ever wanted to, you're more than welcome to. We've got plenty of room. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't put the time in. Well, <laughs> or I, I, I couldn't put the time in. I'd help somebody book. Oh, mm -hmm. That could work. You can actually, you can be, you can help for all four of us, especially with me, since I'm in my early stages. Uh, okay, <sighs> man. What can I say about this match, Carl? You said it yourself. This was well over 100 miles an hour. It was like at first it goes to a fast, quick pace, back to a brawling, then it slows to a crawl, then it repeats the stature a couple of times. Um, Kenny Omega was in for an absolute fist fight tonight. It was all business, and eventually Adam Cole. You know, he knew that this was not just going to be a wrestling match. It dawned on him eventually. It did take just one, but two sun Panama Sunrises to do the job. Like the second one did it because you could see how he paralyzed Omega was when he laid flat on his head. But obviously this match was the second best match of the night. The two men stole the show. Even though it was about the leader of being the elite... Both men, as I said before in commentary, they were fighting it out like as if it was a World Heavyweight Championship. That's how important it was. And even the crowd eventually jumped onto it and they knew that they were seeing something really special. Something that we don't get to see very often. And these two delivered it. They they absolutely told a fantastic story. And um, Adam Cole gets the victory and we have to wait until the next time and see what the Elite's going to look like now. Now that he's kept his part as the leader... Um, so I'm intrigued to see where this is going to go. Perhaps it could be Adam Cole's rebound back to the World Heavyweight title could, as well because the way how this match played out. You know, could we get could we get to see Adam Cole versus Bret Hart 3 in a trilogy perhaps, maybe? Um, mm. and I'm just so intrigued. That's how I was seeing it when, how it when it all came to pass afterwards, you know. So, um, again, great match. Yeah. If I was to rate this... This was basically an 8 out of 10 match, stars matchup for this one. That's how good it was. Uh, you next, JJ. It would have, been, would have been 10 in the Tokyo Dome. Uh, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, I, honestly, like thinking about it, I think this might have been my match of the night, uh, Adam Cole Ooh. and Kenny Omega. Uh, and I, I didn't expect that, but uh, they, they put on a great match. Um, bit of distraction there with the music. I wonder if that's foreshadowing for when we eventually do a draft uh, if that's going to be some pickups or if that was just a uh, a little wink and a nod to them um and yeah we'll see uh we'll see where it goes are the young bucks going to be accepting of cole as their leader or or uh or where that goes we don't know but uh, as far as the actual match goes uh i thought it was i thought it was match of the night Awesome, awesome. Uh, and then uh, we went into the main event of the evening for the World Heavyweight Championship. It was Bret the Hitman Hart versus Chris Jericho. Uh, back and forth, but eventually the second sharpshooter gets it done for the Hitman as he retains the goal. Tom? Right, yeah, well, um, uh, your uh, your main event, uh, you, you've you got... Um, uh, well, I mean, it could have could have gone it could have gone either could have gone either way. Um, uh, as I did, as I said a few times during the uh, the commentary, Brett doesn't miss a move. Um, but uh, if anybody has taken him any closer to beating him, uh, I don't think they have. I think that's as close as we've come to seeing Brett fall. Mm -hmm. Um. Jericho, at least since Adam I, Cole with the whole world title thing at the beginning, yeah. Jericho, I thought had him a couple, had him at a couple of um, at a couple of instances, um, and uh, I think on a different day uh, we'd be having a different conversation about um, about the ending. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean. Uh, from from this point from from this point forward, does Jer um, is does this so discontent in Jericho's group because um, Miz and MJF have got titles? Becky came out on top, but Jericho, the apparent leader, the apparent master of his group, failed when it was 
most important. Now, uh, not to put ideas in anybody, not to put ideas in anybody's head, but um, I could see a guy like M- I could see a guy like MJF saying, "Well, hang about. Why are we listening to him? He mm. loses. Mm. He keep. He can't win." I That's mean, right? Everybody uh, else won. I, yeah. I mean, every, every every everybody else standing here in this room, everyone here standing here in this room has got a piece, has got some leather and gold over their shoulder, and came out on top on this night. Uh, but him over there, he didn't. He didn't win. Yeah. And um, uh, 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 you can see, so you could see discontent. You could see um, a potential uprising of. Uh, a diff of a um of a of a like a takeover almost um <laughs> uh, i mean we 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 all know very well mjf can be can be a very uh can be a very credible world champion we've all seen it well if that goes so you're saying in the real world now but uh yeah, yeah I'm like, we've seen we've seen it We've seen it in the real world. We've seen the Miz be a world champion in the real world. Oh, Christ, no. even Becky could be a leader. Even Be even Becky Lynch is capable of being a leader, and she doesn't lose. Well, I mean, Jer- Jer- Jericho just got just walked away with a big a, a big fat L. As good as he looked in the match, and and he did nearly have Brett. Yeah, he needs main. Would you want to work? <laughs> would you would, would you want to work for a loser? I'm, mm. I mean. I'm just saying. I get where you're coming from with that there, Tom. Food for thought, gentlemen. Food for thought. Mm, we'll see what Carl thinks about that in the booking, I guess. <laughs> uh, you made some pretty good points there, Tom. I have to agree with you. We could see an uprising, maybe a takeover, quote-unquote. But damn. Carl, I don't know what was going on in your head in that creativity, but this match absolutely stole the entire show. Uh you know, this was a really good matchup. It really got Jericho over as the heel of the night. The crowd were just shitting all over on him. And Bret Hart was like like a diehard hero in this one, no pun intended. But he literally like wrestled a perfect match like he did. And he was even wearing, you know, the attire he wore from SummerSlam ninety two from you know, which was a nice little tribute. And uh again, I was a bit concerned that Jericho was gonna like pull out a dirty tactic. Thank God this wasn't the case. And then when he got the walls of Joko slapped on, I thought that was it. I was thinking he's going to make Bret Hart tap. But, you know, Bret Hart being the way he is, he didn't give up. He wants to be a fighting champion, make this company all about pro wrestling and for the fans and for the company and for you as well and for all of us here. And what do you know? He didn't win with a small package roll-up, you know, with that pinfall move of doom, as I like to call it. But uh, instead, he won with the second sharpshooter. Joko tapped out immediately because if he had been locked in it for that long, he probably would have had his legs and back broken. So there's no shame in tapping cleanly. And who knows, Joko might get another shot further down the road. But by the way this is going, he might be out of the tile picture for a long time. So kudos to Bret Hart for an amazing performance. Kudos to Chris Jericho despite he lost. But the fallout from this is going to be... Uh, not so pleasant, should we say? But thank God Bret Hart retained, and that was my um, prediction of the night come true. So again, fantastic. Um, JJ, what did you think about it from your perspective? So uh, a great match, a nice little story with Bret controlling it on the mat, and Jericho bringing it to the outside, having to use some, uh, you know, sports entertainment. We'll call it tactics uh, to to get the advantage. And, and I know, I know, I said on the predictions, "Wow, if you change it again, that's going to be hot shotting." But I really thought Jericho had it in the bag. I really <laughs> thought this was going to be, mm-hmm. yeah, this is going to be, you know, the sports entertainment taking over, leading into, you know, whatever you have next. Uh, so, uh, you know, Brett's a great champion, obviously, and I and I agree. Like, you needed the belt to be retained. Uh, you know, on one of these pay per views, I I don't disagree with that, but a very shocking move. So I'll be curious to see what comes out of this. Does Jericho just get it at a later date? Is he ousted from the group? Uh, do they just end up never getting that world that elusive world championship? Uh, I'm very curious to see 
where you go from here because to me Jericho not winning was very much a shocker. Yeah, yeah. Since so that was kind of the main storyline. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Well, thank you everybody for that. Uh, appreciate the uh, the comments. Uh, yes, that will do it for my double or nothing. We're back uh, tomorrow, where we or in our time tomorrow. I, obviously, it might be uploaded at a different order or a different uh, time schedule. But uh, for us, it'll be tomorrow to do uh, the next WWF episode uh, to find out what's been going on over there. But until then, next we shall see you next time. Take care, everybody. Have a lot of fun tonight.